Let's be killer. Dance the Kush God Smoke Dizza. Hovain Hilton. Catch us on Drink Champs. We know mob movies, this is, this is equivalent to being a made man. And I mean, it's legendary shit. We turned the Drink Champs into the Smoke Champs. We got everybody high, talk that shit. Smoke Champs coming soon. What a good be, hopefully you would still be. This is your boy N A O N A A. What up, it's DJ E F N. And this is Drink Chess, motherfucking Yappy Hour. Make, Make some noise! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right now, I love doing these episodes when you have, you know, the artist extraordinaire, then you have the manager extraordinaire. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? The person that can talk about in front of the scenes and the person that can talk about behind the scenes. The person that can talk about what it took to get them in front of that camera and the person that could talk about what it takes to get that person in front of the camera. I love this combination of artists, you know, um, uh, a management role. I love these two brothers right here. One is a relentless weed smoking advocate. Got 10, 10 independent albums. Got albums with all type of motherfuckers. I can't even name so many because he got so many, he got more in the works. Damn near was the first person to work with Gazelda. You know what I'm saying? Well, I call him the East Coast, I call him the New York Snoop Dogg. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? In case you don't know, motherfucker smoke dinner! Mm -hmm. And the other one we got is the manager extraordinaire. The man is topply, you know, damn near running cinematic. <laughs> doing what he gotta do, bringing artists from everywhere, bringing them together and making them work and, and not only making them work and having them work, but making them make some money, goddammit! Take your money to the whole thing, goddammit! Both Drink Champs alumni, I think. Yes, um, you, you were on briefly. I was you. on briefly in New York with yeah. Joe. Fat Joe. Yeah, Fat Joe. Yeah. Fat Joe. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And Hovind, yeah. you been on camera, Andre, or you just been? I think the Christmas, on Christmas special we've been yeah, on. Oh, right. yeah, Christmas I was special. on, but right, I've been, right. on, I've been yeah. on the set a, yeah. a few hundred times. Right, Damn, yes, man. yes, yes. So, Hovind, we're going to start with you, right? Okay. Being. Very um, nice watch, by the way. Oh, I did see that movie before. I mean, a lot, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? I was glad somebody pointed it out, you know what I'm saying? You, right, because I, I remember seeing this blog, right, and it said uh, this guy was saying, Yo, before you want me to manage you, think about what you're asking me, right? Correct, and he's like, Yo, because you're asking me to put yourself before me. You're asking me to think about you before I think about my kids. You're asking me to think about you before I think about my family and things like that. So be sure when you ask somebody for management, and I thought that that was real, real, real honorable. It's true. But it's also a side that artists don't see. Yeah. So uh, it's a two-part question. Well, let's, let's start with the one part of it. Is that accurate statement? 100%. Okay. Because let's say I'm managing you, uh -huh. and I got plans to go out with mm -hmm. my wife and my kids. Mm -hmm. And you say, yo, Hov, I got an emergency. You got to mm. come to the studio. Mm. Guys, I can't go. I got to go pull up on Nori. I got to mm. do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So being a manager, you're selfless. You put your mm. artist before yourself. Mm -hmm. That's the, the role of the job. Mm. Mm. God damn it. God damn it. Now, Smoke Dizza, is that like, is how, how was it with you? When you Did you start out, you had management, or that was not something? Um, well, shit, how I started out, I ain't originally have management. Mm. Um. Me and Johnny came in together. Me and Johnny right. Shipes, uh -huh. right? Cinematic, so, right? Cinematic. Right. So you know, I helped start Cinematic with Johnny. Right. As far Make some as noise for that, yeah. 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 Which, which, um, which tied into being a, a owner of the Smokers Club, mm. a tour that we started at mm. South That's by huge, Southwest. Huge. Mm. I mean, oh, oh, so that, oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, I thought that was a part of. I knew you started it, but I thought that was South by Southwest. So that's y'all guys. Nah, that's, that's us. No, y'all oh, launched yeah. it at, oh. at the conference. Yeah, we launched oh. it at South by in okay. 09. Um, we had Devin the Dude headlining. Right. Wow. And um, under Devin was so people me. People don't with, know. Explain to people what the Smokers Club is. All right, so the Smokers Club is basically our breakfast club of pot smokers. Mm. Um, the tour started with me, Currency, and Big Crit, mm, um, Fiend, Corner Boy Pink. Um, 
And you know Gradually It extended to Juicy J mm. um, Joey Badass Ab Soul mm. Be Real Method Man mm. Red Man um, Burner The list goes on but, uh, you know, it's something we just started as just our crew. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Niggas just always smoke together. We smoke mm -hmm. the same type of mm -hmm. marijuana, mm -hmm. you feel me? And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it was just something that we could start for us, by us, and it mm -hmm. extended. But it started just as a crew. It just started right, as a crew, right, like just a as an idea on Shipe's yeah. Roof. Just, you right. know, fuck it, we the Smokers Club. Named the show at South By that, and then it turned into a what, tour. What year was the South By show the first 2009. One. That's yeah. pretty much how Drinking Champs started. Yeah, yeah. Like, we was just a crew just sitting around drinking. Drink it. Like, yeah. it, would be, it would be funny Gambling. because he would be playing poker and I would be recording. And if you really think about it, poker and recording is kind of like the same yeah, time length because it's both long as hell. Facts, facts, facts. So, um, what are y'all doing? Y'all could point in the eye. Cool. All right, the background. All right, cool. All right, so yeah, so um, that's, that's crazy. So, all right, smoke is from moving on. How did you and Currency even link up? Well, me and Spitter, funny shit is, I met Spitter when Spitter was smoking blunts. He Smoke probably gonna, he probably gonna hate this. No, we gonna spin into that. We gonna spin into that. But um, I met Spitter. I want to say in wait, wait, because he been going going at me for smoking oh, blunts. Oh no, no, so we, we minute, going now because okay. I'm gonna segue. I'm gonna segue into cups. that. Let's get some cups going. Let's get some, let's get some I'm gonna segue into that. So I met Spitter in 2008 when he mm. was on the Freshman cover. Mm. I met him through Mickey Fax. Okay. Mickey had a session and he had a, he had Spitter there, he had Corey Guns there. He had a few people there and we had cut a record prematurely. Uh -huh. um, and then maybe like a year and a half later, going to DD172, shout out to Dame Dash. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's one of my mentors. I okay. relink with Spitter and this is the time he was living in New York. Dame becoming le less crazy nowadays. He becoming is. less crazy. It's, people it's people crazy insane. The it's it's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. one of those. It's yeah, crazy yeah. insane. You right. know what I mean? You know why? Because when he was telling the truth, he was yelling so much. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you it, was people, yeah. 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 it was too passionate. It was too passionate. messenger. Yeah, but I didn't want to cut you off, so keep going. Yeah, so, go. um, so that was around the time he was living in New York and shit. Mm -hmm. And you know, I always know where the weed is at or got it. Mm -hmm. So that was our bond, smoking right. weed and eating weed brownies and just running around the city. And a lot of niggas, let's keep it real, a lot of niggas think New York don't got good weed. Oh, no. Like a lot of people, like, like if you don't know... That's the only L.A. niggas that, that feel like that yeah, about us. Yeah, but Spitter be acting like it. an L.A. nigga. He be acting nah. like, <laughs> like he's a car and soul. Like he just like, yeah, motherfucker. Nah, he is though. Niggas is weed snobs. So, yeah. you know snobs? what I mean? Snobs? Okay. Snob, weed snobs. What so, is that? All right, so on tour, you know, we call this thing called fan weed, mm -hmm. right? Where sometimes the fans got good weed, and then right. sometimes they got fan weed, okay. which is whatever they think is good, but that might not fit our criteria. Mm. So that would be the weed that we'd be like, you know, give it to the homies or, or whatever. But when mm. I say weed snobs, we the niggas that... plastic cups? Yeah, I'm using the plastic. We gonna, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's get plastic, bro. We're going to we turn, turn our nose up if mm. the weed ain't right. right. We might send you back. Mm. With the weed, I, I, the threw, weed I threw right. a couple of times with dudes threw weed at me on stage, and I threw was like, back. "You can have that." <laughs> Y'all ain't ever worried about smoking whatever someone just throws. Now, on stage? this is before like, Arnold. Yeah, I mean, yeah, now nigga like, can't like, give me nothing. Yeah, yeah. but um, but you it know. was like equivalent to like a girl throwing panties on stage. Like at first, let me just tell you up. something. When yeah. I first, you gotta realize, when I first was going on stage and people was throwing weed at me, this is other than coming to Miami and other going to Atlanta. Um, strip club shit was kind of corny to, to us. So throwing right, things... That's our culture. Yeah, that's right, our culture, right, right. but I didn't know that at the time. Right. So me getting on stage, a person throwing anything at me, I, 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 was, felt like a I was a stripper, like a violation. So uh, right. the first time right. someone threw weed at me, we beat the shit out the dude. <laughs> like we were in the crowd room. He was like, yo, would you... Yeah, well, it was more than 20 years ago. You're, 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 you're comparing me to a stripper, though? No, because it's the same thing. You're doing stuff. So right. it, was, it wasn't. So he said, look at it when I threw. And then we looked, and it was like, oh, quarter pound. Oh, yeah. okay, this nigga's a hot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? There's a dime bag now. Yeah, yeah, there's a, you know what I mean? But, but it's, it's something... That 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 is different, but okay. I'm sorry, cause cause you you got me reminiscing this shit. Ah uh, nah, yeah. so you know that's that's just the definition of weed snob for us. Like, no, it's a person who knows it. We know it, and if you come with something that's not it, with some funny names or some shit you want to name, right. that's not it. We gonna send you back with it. Yo, let me tell you so, a funny story, man. Me and Styles P, right? You that's know. another weed snob. Yeah, okay. Listen, listen, <laughs> right? Me and Styles P, we get. We good. I don't know what Shame kind of plug. Salud, by the way. Salud, yeah. by the way. Salud, by the way. Thank you, brothers, for pulling up. Thank you, So, let me tell you. So, um, we are. Uh, we go to High Times Cannabis Cup 
award, right? So we the judges, right? Me and Styles P. Everybody else is not like, look like us. So we go to the High Times Mansion, and the High Times Mansion was ill because the higher you got in the mansion, it was like a seventh floor mansion in Amsterdam. You've been to Amsterdam. Mm-hmm. Amsterdam mm-hmm. was like small, mm-hmm. shit like that. So, the, but the higher you got, the smaller the rooms got. But the more potent this shit was. So they had dabs back in like, this is a fact, like like 15 years ago. But anyway, this is probably like the only time I got mad at Styles P. <laughs> Styles P is sitting there looking at we like Inspector Gadget. <laughs> 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 he's sitting there, he's analyzing it. And you know, I don't know why it made me mad, but I was just looking like, yo, we hood niggas, bro. <laughs> just smell that shit and move and keep it moving. Yo, I was like, yo, Styles, leave that shit alone. He said, yo, Nori. I'm taking my job serious. <laughs> <laughs> and he dead serious was. And then he, was, he kept saying, I'm trying to be invited back. But that shit is crazy because at some point, it goes from just wanting to get high to wanting a feeling. Right. Like it's at a certain point, like I like a sour or OG feeling, right? Here and there, I can do my flavors to the runts. Mm-hmm. To the certs, mm-hmm. to the to the cookies or whatever. Mm-hmm. But predominantly, if I could pick, I like to keep my lungs old school, like the sour, the OGs. Same. So, same. so how, how was it with you? Same. Okay. I mean, I'm an OG guy. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And I still smoke sour from time to time. If some good sour come around, I haven't found no good sour for a long time. Next time you come up top, okay. I got you. Okay. I'll be the Saturday. Yeah. Right. But cool. Right. So, <laughs> right. No, no, no. So, um, yeah, I, you know, I fuck with the flavors every now and then too. But for me, you know. Fuck with runs? I fuck with the I fuck with runs. And I you know, I fuck with okay, LB, LB and I, okay, yeah. I fuck with everybody, Nick, everybody over there. Okay. But um, you know, when it comes to the funny names and shit outside of the runs, mm. you feel me? It's like, nigga, we could just name some weed. We can name this weed right now, get a bag, market it, and oh. it's it's whatever we it's say. All it is. You know, I got right. Super Thug OG, that's the first one, but my second one is Jesus Toenails. Jesus Toenails? Jesus Toenails. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure the packaging is good and yeah, niggas yeah. is gonna be requesting that's Jesus. That's what it's about right now. Let's right. Keep it real. They just want the bag. They want the bag. Hey, you want me to bring it? You want me? Uh, uh, look, I don't. I don't want to big up y'all Harlem niggas too much, but I'm gonna be honest. You know, the first time I ever seen weed marketed, Shice Bubs. It was a spot called Three Wise Men. I can't tell if it was 143rd or 145th. Yeah, it's kind of drizzling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I thought it was just me. I didn't even know. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm worried the roof going to fall off. Word. I've never seen this. I've never dealt with this. But um, there was a spot called um, Three Wise Men. This mm. is where Biggie got Machine Gun Funk from. Uh, when he said Machine Gun Funk. What it, what, what it used to do was everyone had 20 bags, dime bags, whatever. They used to distribute. A nut, like a fortune cookie. So we used to say machine gun funk on it. Or it'd be like Buddha, Buddha sex. Uh, so that was like the first marketing. So they had the same exact shit that what you call it had on 149 or what you call it had on 124th when you come off the Tribera Bridge. They had the same exact shit. But the fact was, they took time out and wrote me a note. They <laughs> <laughs> wrote me a note and I kept coming back just for that. And mm. then, who was, I uh, want to pick up your Harlem niggas again. Branson. But, yeah, Dan, yeah, Come you on, know your shit. Bro. <laughs> then yeah. the, next, the very next person who marketed weed that everyone is copying off of now. No disrespect to everyone from cookies to runs to everyone. All of them, I know everybody. But if they really know the history, that Branson bag, you couldn't duplicate that. Triangle bag. Do, do you yeah. remember? You, let me just tell you something. Let me just tell you something. It's a triangle bag? Triangle it's a tri- bag. Listen to me. You couldn't bootleg it. Mm-hmm. You could not go to Chinatown, whatever, however he did it. Yeah. They could not, and if you did it, you it looked at, it looked at Fugazi. Mm. Like the way his bag was, this shit was this bag was so crazy. This is crazy. I never told this story before. Capone, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for this. <laughs> Capone is in jail. I'm on parole. I literally can't see my man in jail. I can if I wanted to. All right. So the, I'm lit though. I get lit though. I get lit. I get lit. I do all. It's in all. So I'm like, I'm glad I can't go. I don't want to go anyway. So but what I could do is keep it shorty laced. So I told her, oh, the one thing I didn't tell her was to take it out the bags. So the next time the chick showed me, she was like, yo, that shit cut my whole shit up. Cause she must have took the shit and not the took triangle. it. She left it uh, in the triangle. Uh, that shit got all y'all mean. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what kind of bag was 
Jesus, bro. I don't like, know. Y'all this is something. Let me just say this. Is, this is how I. This is how. I, this is the first time I, I kind of think that I was being spiked. Mm. Because it was one time I woke up had no bud. Wait, did they spike your weed? I bit. I thought. I thought I was bit spiked. <laughs> yes. Yes. Because <laughs> I woke spiked. up. I had no bud. I had money on me. Everybody on my street, like, yo, yo, you want some? You got bud? My bud? I'm like, nah. I waited for our cab. I went all the way to 151st Street and St. Nick before I smoked. Well, yeah. Yeah, you was on another type of time, man. No, Branson was lacing niggas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That was a white castle weed. And, and it was brown weed. He had the tie stick. It was an always green. He had the tie. He had the tie. Not chocolate tie. It was called tie stick. Mm-hmm. And then he had the green. I never remember what the green was. I, I, I would suggest it was, it was Joe. But Branson's still out there. We're going to get him on the show Brand, now. Branson got the juice bar right now, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Branson Someone got the juice. Yeah, yeah, Shout yeah, out yeah. to the homie. And he got his own champagne. Yeah, he got his own and champagne. And he still got Tiger Bone, too. That's yeah, yeah, what we yeah, 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 uh uh-uh. uh. That's what I thought because that's where I first seen you at. Right, right, Usually. right. Okay. See, now Shice, Shice had Purple City, mm. which was his own movement with mm. Casa Ag, mm. um, A Mafia. Mm. I was just a young nigga that used to be around, mm. right? And um, I was a part of a group, Smoking Numbers, at mm. this time, just doing is that my work. Oh, no, oh, no. I mean, this was, with, this was with Johnny. This is just me, you know, just trying to find my footing. Wow. And um, Johnny linked me with Shice. Mm. And Shice took a liking to me. Mm. So, I want to. I was Purple City, but it was like I was the little man. I was the little nigga. You was honorary you Purple me? City. Mm-hmm. The little okay. nigga. Yeah, and, that's and, what it is. Purple cool. City, okay. Right. And Purple City to me is Dipset. So right, 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 yeah. right, right, right. And Agalor and this was is before a part of that, right? Producing Agalor. Agalor. Right. Up the Agalor. Yeah. Ate off the assassin yeah. before and that. This is yeah. this is before I knew Jim and Cam. You know what right. I mean? So. I was still a fan. See, see, see me, I, I would think all y'all Harlem niggas just know each other, like by default. Mm-hmm. I think y'all just... So at you this point... Oh, you yeah. didn't know them at that time. I didn't know them at this ah. point. You know I thought, mean? in my mind, you, Max B, Cam, all y'all was in the same homeroom. Like, <laughs> 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 Never mind that. I ain't gonna lie, I do that with the Brooklyn niggas too. So, yeah. Yeah. Funny shit, around that time, I used to be around Max, because Max sure. used to be in the, the sessions... Point. Okay. With, with Shice, you know what I mean? And shooting the knick-knack video and all that shit. Like, I was there for the trap nigga video, just yeah. sitting behind the scenes, seeing how shit was moving, yeah. wanting to be an extra in the video just to be in it. Wow. You know, but that was, you know, part of my journey. You got the vintage frames on. What are those? Those are These fire. These are go- John Paul Gartier. And this is vintage, right? Yeah, they vintage. Yeah, come on. Look at my eye. <laughs> <laughs> so, Obain, you, you working on your own. I right, immediately... Right, you know what? I will, I'll, I'll wait for that for the shot. But you, all right. So how do you go from? Cause we're going to do some shots, right, Mr. Lee? Mr. Lee's around. Oh, he's outside. I feel like he's doing a little bumba. So, um, <laughs> so how do you even? I right, even because I got a, I got a bunch of management questions. Yeah. Um, we actually got a uh, um this Thursday we're supposed to have um Eric Nix and um shout to E Nix. Um, uh, James Cruz come up and kick some violators. That's dope. Now, um, one thing that I noticed, right? I didn't know how much a headache artists were. And so you started booking shows? Yeah, that's, right. <laughs> that's what you learned. You said, God damn. I was like, damn, I used to do that? <laughs> like, yeah. I like, and, and I technically can't get mad at any artist because there's not one thing that they've done that, that I have not done. Yeah. So I technically got to shut the fuck up. But how is that keeping patience? How is that? And, and, and do, okay, go ahead. go ahead. I mean, it's like... It's like anything you do, you gotta know what you're signing up for. Right. And every artist is different. The way I'm in with Dizzle is not the way I am with Kel, is not the right. way I am with Styles. Mm. Every artist is different. Management is not like a broad thing, it's a la carte. Mm. So the things you may need from me, mm. he might not need. Mm. I might have to call you every morning at seven to wake you up, mm. to go over business, you know what I'm saying? So right. you just gotta know your personnel right. and just kinda like, it's like having children almost. Right. You know, you know what Noah likes. You know right. what to, you know what I'm saying. But do you keep your clientele to a minimum because you can't spread yourself too thin? You see, now I'm part of a management company. I'm the right. president of the cinematic management, so I have other managers under me. So it's right. like delegation. I learned delegation. So all right, you go with this artist, but I'm gonna still call and check and make sure everything is running smooth. So is it about knowing the staff too? Because what if you put somebody with with Dizza that that 
don't smoke and like he's it's, right. it's knowing your personnel. Yeah, knowing your personnel. I know yeah. not to send nobody else who does a dizzle rap <laughs> <or> by himself. <laughs> 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 if it's somebody who don't smoke, it's not right. gonna work well. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right. So if it's something with dizzle, I'll try to go or he'll handle it on his own. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. Styles is somebody like. I don't book him a hotel that don't got a balcony. Right. Because he got to smoke. Right. Make sure they got vegan right. options for him. Right, that's very so, true. You know what I'm saying? So very you just got to know your personnel. Because, like, one time I, um, I walked in a room. We, 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 this is like the no smoking policy just started. Everyone in Def Jam was like, yo, don't smoke in your fucking rooms. So everybody, we all on point. And then DMX sees me downstairs. He's like, yo, Nori, what's up? What you doing? Like, like, he's checking, checking up to my hotel. I'm like, all right, come on. You call us there. So, as soon as DMX walk in his room, he lights a cigarette. I'm just looking at him. I'm like, damn, nigga, I'm not 10 times platinum, bro. <laughs> I cannot do that. I get that. But, um, so now, so now, um, now what is the requirements, right? If you, what is, what, is there a difference from working with a new artist um, than working with a, a, a elder a statesman? Se- yeah, 100%, because the elder statesman has been through it before. He he's, not he get, he's not getting too super excited about new shit. Right. You know what to bring to him. Like, right. he has a certain standard. With a newer artist, like, you kind of got to hold his hand and walk him through everything. Mm-hmm. You try to be at everything, every first, every first award show, mm-hmm. every uh, plaque ceremony. Mm-hmm. An older guy, like, you know, he knows what he likes. He knows what to do. And most, 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 most of all, he wants... Shit to be routine. Who's the most improved artist you ever like? Who's the artist that you worked with and you was like, I'll never work with again? And then you wind up saying, you know what? He goes, I. I don't know. Oh, you don't know? Right. And there's gotta be there's gotta be pros and cons to the oh, yeah, older yeah. artist and the younger <laughs> artist. Yeah. Like the older artist could be more stubborn than the younger artist. They're more stuck in their ways. Right. So it's like you're trying to change somebody's behavior that they've been used to first class right. flights and right. the Rama- and the rich Carlton for twenty years, and you were like, yo, nah, not this budget. We yeah, because if you manage an artist now that's from the era in the 90s that had the budgets and had the big labels. They don't understand that. That mentality is hard to crack. They'd be like, ah, nah, that's what I want, you know? It's very, it's very tough to work with people who were, who their heyday was behind them. Right. Sometimes, like, it's, you got to pick and choose because sometimes people be I'm like, the plastic cup, brother. they're in a mindset of this is how it, it should be, not this is how it is, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. You all right with Lee, man? Yeah, no, because I want to listen to you. I want a plastic cup. 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 I want a Come on, let's get some shots going. What you what you drinking a shot of? I got Duce. You guys can have some Columbia white if you want to. Uh, shout out to, shout to Ian Finn with the Columbia white. <laughs> shout out to Ian Finn with the Columbian white. But he doesn't put no ice in his shit. Straight as a shot. What the fuck? That shit is like, how you call it? It's like, hey, it's, like that shit. it's like drinking a heater. Mm. That's true. <laughs> nigga says like drinking the heater. <laughs> heater, you know, remember the heaters from New York? It's our diente. It's, a, it's fire water. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I don't know if you're both got. I'm waiting. This is a rock. I'm, I'm not. I mean, I'm, I'm love doing rock, but I gotta choose. I gotta pick what you doing, what I'm you, gonna you do. You got to do save the, over there. I'm gonna fuck with the brown. All right, cool. downtown D Lo Brown. Really? All right, fuck with the brown. Yeah, fuck with the brown. I respect that. I got. I'm, I already, Come I on, got. baby. Come on, Let's relax. Let's relax. Come on, baby. We fuck with them both, baby. Yeah. J and Ho, baby. Yeah, I fuck with them both. You know what I mean? But I said J and Ho. I mean Puff and Ho. I gotta pick my poison. You know what I'm Shout out, shout out, yeah, Revolt. Yeah, shout out to Revolt, man. Um, salute. Uh, you got yours? Ready? Yeah. So, so, yo, yo, I don't know if y'all know, but our show is about our show. Uh, yes, I die. Uh, our show is about bigging up our legends. <laughs> we don't need you, you know, tell them to happen. We're going to tell you straight to your face how much we appreciate you, how much we appreciate you, brother. Thanks. Let's take a suit. Salud. Yeah. 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 I'm back. Uh, I'm back. Uh. <laughs> now. Uh, okay. Okay. Hey, you got something? You want some of that? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm talking about I got a question because I need to like calm down yeah, a little okay, bit. Okay, 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 okay. No. Hit that blunt. So hold up, Hovain. Yes, sir. We got to take it back to when we first met. Mm. EFN, Garcia, Studio Miami. I remember. He came, was it, remember. it wasn't the hurricane time, was it? It was. It was like a storm. I remember... Uh, Garcia rode a motorcycle. He, had, he couldn't leave because it was a crazy storm. I think storm. Super O was there too. Was Super O there? I just want to tell you how proud so. my son is. I called my son at 3 o'clock. Don't, 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 don't mind interrupting. My bad. My bad. I just want to show you how foul he is. Like, 
Hey, you gonna call me an hour and 40 minutes later? Yo, you called me? You in the next room, bro. All I need is toilet paper. Goddamn. Jeez <laughs> Louise, Papa Cheese. I'm sorry. Who, who I'm was sorry. it that you was with? It was Troy Ave. It was Troy Ave. Uh-huh. Yo, this is how he's saying that he puts right. himself out. Yo, there's a hurricane coming. Right. And hurricane. they was in the studio with us yeah. trying to do mixtape shit. Yeah, I remember. That was one of the first early, early trips to Miami. Yeah. FM. Wow. Wow, that's dope. All right, so it's been brought up. We didn't... We didn't. Um... Uh, when I when I do this these interviews, I always you know um, go to Twitter and I ask you, you got something for Smoke Dizzle, you got something for uh, Bottle because Bottle's supposed to come through later. Shut the slum. V out here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's supposed to come through later around um, five thirty, five fifty. And then I, I obviously I said, yo, you, any questions for Hovain? Now obviously, people never really heard your side. They never will. They, they, they don't, they, all they hear is, you know, whatever, whatever. was going for a lack of a better term for people that don't know. We're talking about, because well, when we first met you, you came in the game with Troy Ave. Mm-hmm. So, if you could, like, you know, just elaborate as much as you feel comfortable about um, what happened with that situation. Now, we, we worked super hard. We got together. We did all type of shit independently. We made a bunch of money. From the ground? Uh, from, the, from the ground. Yeah. It was really just us two, maybe... Mm-hmm. Two three, two, three people at a time. We got a lot of endorsements. We made a name for ourselves, and we parted ways. Right. He's doing what he's doing, and I'm doing what I'm doing. Right. So, um, obviously, you know, for the world, the people know, you know, um, the situation. And, um, that's it. And so, was that the last straw? It was because... Did he feel like he was obligated to something, or I'm not sure? I couldn't even tell you how he felt, because we ain't never speak about that. Right. And y'all just, just didn't speak after that situation at all? Man. Oh, bless. Is there something you want to work out, or just leave it up to God? I'll leave it up to God. Right. You know what Because right. I heard him say, like, like he made mistakes in certain things. Did you, we, all, did you? we all make mistakes. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nobody perfect, I'm pretty sure. Did you think he was genuine and, and sincere? I thought he was genuine and sincere when he said that about I don't know, I wasn't here. About you, like when he spoke about you, I felt like he was genuine yeah, and sincere. He was. He yeah, was. Like yeah, he was. Like when it came to you, like I, I'm not saying he was genuine and sincere in other situations, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying when, I, when he came here and I asked about the whole vein situation, I felt like he was genuine and sincere. I felt like, I felt like, I felt like, you know, for me, you know, cutting the cookie like dry, right? I felt like he needed someone to actually blame, not to say it like that, but he needed like I don't want to say a scapegoat because you know this was this was a very very situ- serious situation. So that's why I felt like you, you understand what I'm trying to say, or <coughs> or, or <coughs> nah, I get what you're saying. I just yeah. can't speak for him. Like right. I, I don't know how he felt. Or, you know what I'm saying? Right. <coughs> so. <coughs> So if, if that, you don't have to elaborate on that, but if that, explain to people that that is going to get into this game, that is going to get into management, and is going to form a certain friendship with certain people, and then we'll have to deal with this I mean, situation. Explain I, to how that feels. How or, I always say it to people, like, companies break up every day. Partners go different ways in business all the time. I think it's only sensationalized because it's rap, because it's young black men. Mm-hmm. People start a business together, they make money together, and never speak again. That happens right. all the time. Right. I'm saying down to Apple, Windows, the people mm-hmm. that started McDonald's. Right. It should happen. That's business, really. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. That's, this, a, that's this, a good way to say it. But this, this is the music business. But the way you said that a manager puts the artist in yeah, front of their, even their family. It's 444 four, 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 right four, four, four. Let's make some noise for it being 444. Four, 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 right? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I manage artists as well. And yeah. it's just, it's difficult, man. When yeah, you yeah, put you so know, much. Pay, you know, I would probably, I would, I, could, I know what you're saying and you're being politically correct. And let's take him out the equation, right? Just, I would like to explain for, for people that's going to get it. Because like, like, like our, um, being a manager is something very personal. Yeah. But it's not personal. You got you to gotta always remember at the end of the day, this is like, we, we had a friendship before music so right. it wasn't just business but as far right. as like other artists that we just generalizing right. it should been happening in the music since the fucking start of music but does that make right. you bitter though that does that no, make that, you no it doesn't make you bitter right. it make, if you don't learn from experiences that cuz they took favorite, my publishing and I never I never <laughs> took nobody else publishing but, but you you learn from experiences so you know now when you have an artist you would never take his publishing you know right. what i'm saying but it's right. the fr- it's the friendship managers yeah, because boss. most hip hop artists are managed by their friends 
Yeah, in, that's the, how beginning. You, in, in the, the beginning. beginning. In, in the, the beginning. beginning. That's how you, so that's the difference between yeah. other genres. You so know? now, and most, but most, but let me cut you off. But most of their friends, when that's when when they break, most of their friends. <laughs> That, 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 what, the, the managers? The manager that's the friend. Once they break from, from the artist, they go right back to selling Knicks. I mean, it's mean, Junction Boulevard. Uh, <coughs> not all of them. I don't know. Yeah, I, don't I don't think I you said most of them. Did I say all? I said I meant most. I just think I the manager, all. you're not going to know the manager store because most of them aren't behind the scenes. You wouldn't even know. Yeah, I think, I think the fact that people know me is a testament to my work. You know what I'm saying? People know me because I really get busy and I do a great job. And, and I think some, my reputation speaks for itself. It right? forces but managers, it, no, no, but, but okay. no, it forces sometimes a, a, a managers to become kind of like artists so that doesn't happen to them. So people, do, they don't just fall behind the scenes. But it, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is nothing new. This has been happening in the 60s. James Brown fell out with his first manager. You don't yeah, never yeah, hear about yeah, the guy. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, but was this, it rough this, because, because let, me, let me just be clear. And I just want to, um, because I just want to just get, get to it, right? Um... When we first seen you in the game, we only seen you with Troy. Mm-hmm. It was, y'all was like Biggie and Puffy. Y'all was like Dame and Jay. You know what I'm saying? So I imagine, and Troy was Troy was up for lack of a better word. Like he was up, and then this this thing happens. You guys break away. He goes does his thing. You go do his thing. In those periods of time, when you build it, we build it. Was it rough? Because I mean, some people's got to be looking at you like, if you're not with Troy, then oh, why yeah, should I? You know, I mean, course. why should I fuck with you? Because but, this is the artist but, I was fucking with you for them to get. That, that's a blessing. That's the best thing in the world. Whenever mm-hmm. something happens, like say, like you fall ill, God forbid, mm-hmm. or you lose your job, mm-hmm. the best thing that ever happens to you is knowing where you stand with people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So people that wasn't fucking with me or they thought I was over, that's beautiful. I know I have faith in myself and faith in my ability and faith it's in God. It's a testament to your work ethic that. Yeah. Yeah, fuck so, with you regardless of that. Yeah. So if you don't fuck with me, don't worry. Well, don't was it rough though? Me. That wasn't rough. Okay. I got, I got loved ones. I have like real friends and family, like niggas like you who was okay. calling me. And, I call you. I, call, I, I, I didn't want to take the props. I didn't want to take the props. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, mean, I, yeah, I, I have real friends. I have yeah. real family. I have a wife. I have yeah. kids. I have a mother. Like, wife. I, I got wife. I got real friends. Like you know, Dizza and Shipes right. and people that you know what I'm saying that was there for me. It wasn't rough. It was an adjustment. Mm-hmm. It was like, oh, all right, this is different. I got to figure this out, but. I didn't have any, uh, uh, I didn't have any uh, doubts in myself. I never thought, I never thought I would never These be Brooklyn Harlem niggas out here showing off. <laughs> I respect y'all. I see, I see y'all pulling up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get the first one going. Yeah, yeah, yeah no problem. <laughs> but um, you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't, I didn't doubt my ability. I didn't think I wouldn't be ever lit or as where I am right now. I'm not, mm. No. Now I ain't gonna lie. To tell you the truth, I felt like it was rougher both of y'all. Yeah, at one point. Because yeah, you we saw y'all as that, you know, is that that Biggie Puffy, that Dame J, and I think everyone kind of wanted y'all to reach that potential and didn't break up. <laughs> like, like, because we expected that one y'all reach. I mean, I mean it's just true, it's just real. So when y'all was on their way and it, 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 it shortcutted it, so I felt like everyone had their opinion from people from his side of the industry to people from your side of the industry, people from the industry, period. Do you feel like uh, I'm, I'm a little bit accurate in that? Um, really, I, I can't even say, bro. Like, right. I'm not. I'm not he's sure. Passed it, man. That's, he's passed that's, it. That's, 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 that's it. was like five, yeah, six years ago, bro. Right. It's like I don't, I don't, I don't even remember <clears throat> the emotions and feelings I felt five years ago. You can't remember that. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I know we were working together. We can't never take that away from him. He's a hard ass worker. I'm a hard ass worker. We did some great shit. We made some money. We made some history. It's like you know, no, nothing could change that. Mm-hmm. That's like D- Jay and Dame. Mm-hmm. It didn't work out. Jay went on to do great things. Dame went on to do great things. But you can't erase the history they have. No, All right. can't, can't erase the history. And you know what? I just want y'all to know, man. Um, eventually, if you, at least y'all can get on ter- talking terms or you know whatever terms. I don't know. Like I, I would, I would, I like that, man. Because you know, I remember y'all together as being great, and you know. Hopefully, maybe later on in life, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure many times you were poor fellow. Oh, uh, well, I would say trash. Just more, oh, you don't relate trash. to trash. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Having yeah. fallen out like that. Yeah, no, nah, nah, me and Paul never fell out like that. So I would say me and trash. But I got love for trash. Yeah. And um, um, I really, really, like it was his birthday the other day. I, I reached out to him. That's, I didn't have to. Like yeah, I, that's I, I sat back, I've seen everyone else saying happy birthday. I could have been like, fuck that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me, act like, let me act like I'm too big to see niggas bigger than mine. You know, nah, nigga, no, I, I, I hit him. Yo, y'all, happy birthday, bro. He was like, what? He's like, yo, that's big coming from you. I'm like, why? Like, I hit niggas to say if you be okay. So you good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but, you know, so big up trash. So, like I said, like, you know, I've been through crazy shit. You've been through crazy shit. 
eventually, if you could come on speaking terms, that's a motherfucking plus in life. Let's make some noise. But goddamn it, I gotta get on something that's been on my chest because it's on smoke business chest. Do you have the Hulkamania? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is I that got... is that the Hulk? Oh shit. Yeah, shout out to Greg you and I. All right, I like to think this is the hope before we found out that he used the word nigga just before, 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 pre nigga, before, 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 pre nigga, right? Yeah, pre- all right, cool. Look, so I was a hulkamaniac. So and, let's and just that, act that, like that's this is taken from there. Yeah, it was. Yo, it was. It hurt me. Did it hurt you? When you did it hurt me? Yeah, it hurt. It was sickening because I I ain't know what to do. I'm like, damn, that's my man. But was it exactly that they caught him saying? I mean, they invaded his privacy, but he was talking. He didn't want his daughter dating no nigga. That's what he said. He said, oh, at least he let it. At least let it. No, but she was dating homie. She was dating homie. She was dating. Right. But he was like, stop playing nigga. Right. And he was like, maybe, you know. If it was a six foot eight nigga, that's my then people I, too. That's my people. <laughs> <laughs> he said that? He I don't remember like that part. Dead. No, he said yeah, that. maybe I, I skipped like, over that part. Because I was a whole maniac. I was just like, he's racist. Let me leave it alone. Yeah. But did you see when he, he wow. got the sex case? Yeah, that shit with Gawker with his man and all. I mean, Hogan been a part of a lot of scandals. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, it's, and Ric Flair has it been. You fuck with Ric Flair? That's my that's my guy. I met Ric Flair. I want to say. Yo, Ric Flair. He was a four yeah. horseman. Yeah, four horseman. I was a horseman. Okay. I met Flair. I want to say a year and a half ago. First. Junkyard dog. Junkyard dog. How about Roddy Wright Piper, man? Roddy Wright Piper. That was the one that I was fucking with. Yo, listen. Yeah. Roddy Wright Piper might have been the first drink champs. He was. <laughs> I was watching it the other day. I was like, he's the first person to interview people in his own game. I said, holy shit, Drink Chess might have been over Roddy Roddy Piper. We didn't even have a dress. <laughs> the what was it called? Piper's Pit. Piper's Pit. Piper's Pit. Piper's Pit. Piper's Pit. Piper's Pit. First, this is, yeah. the, the first thing Ric Flair said when he seen me, he looked at my chain, he was like, diamonds are forever. Nature boy, baby. The nature, the nature boy. boy. Thanks, Yo, thanks. Do you think that's crazy? Because us coming from the hood, right? We growing up poor, and we have this liking to a, a life that we know is Santa Claus. Right. Like we know this is fantasy. But still we watch it. We watch Superfly Jimmy Snooker. We watch Thing. We watch Paul Orndorff. Come on, bro. But see, the thing is, my mom's and my well, my mother and father, I want to say, they introduced me to wrestling, and they told me what it was from the beginning. So they said it's a fake. Yarn. I knew Santa Claus wasn't real at three years old. <laughs> you feel me? So and it didn't. It didn't yeah, my take my fine. joy of Christmas. Right. I don't think my mom still ain't tell me Santa Claus. Nah, anymore. my pops was like, no, I'm still believe it. Shut up. <laughs> my mom's just like, no, no, it's no Santa Claus. This is me and your father. We work hard for this shit. I be trying to you say know, that so, every year when so, they be under the tree taking Santa. So, so with the Santa Claus speech was the wrestling speech. Like, mm. yo, son, you know, this, this is not real. Mm. It's entertainment. And, you know, for me watching it and just learning how the shit works and just, you know, having friends in the business now mm. and just being a smart is what they call it, just knowing the behind the scenes shit. Mm. I know what it's hitting for. However, they real athletes and they, they get injured oh, from yeah. it. Oh, no, you it's, it's oh, hella yeah. real. Like, in that that sense, shit yeah, is yeah. real. Like, you can't just power drive a nah, nigga and say, nah. oh, no, this is fake. Yeah. Well, no, nigga might not get up, shit. nigga yeah, will yeah, die. Yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah. mean? So I learned about... Santa Claus being fictional and wrestling being fictional, mm. or at least you know um, the story, the storytelling purpose right. of it. Same way, how no disrespect, I watch Love and Hip Hop, or anybody else will watch Love and Hip Hop, and you just gotta just know what you want, know what know what it's hitting for. That is semi That's all. I'm right. not, you know, whatever. Maybe it's real, maybe it's not. I don't know what's going on on TV. It's not. It's smoke does not pull up on Love and Hip Hop. Not, Never. Not for no money in the world. No. I, I'm, I'm beefing like beef with my wife. I'm beefing with my wife for free. Never. I'm not going on. No, 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 no. Off TV. For free? For, for, off TV, so I'm not going on TV to go oh. beef and no, 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 no. I, I get can, mad over I getting subbed on Instagram. Yeah. So enough with, with love and hip hop. I'd never. You know, and you I respect everybody on there. You know I, I mean, no I was disrespect. About it a couple but, of times. Nah, I'm a couple good. times. And then Maris boot camp, and then nah, I see the they, homie. They can have it. All. I say, maybe, maybe not. not. Maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> they can have it better than me. I respect it. Or love. You know if you like it, I love it. I'm getting off subject a little bit. I work for myself basically like the past ten years. It's not really the oldest cracked up to be. Like working for yourself, like I wanna have a job where I can report and come in. Like come, until really? you have a job where I you can report and come job. in, and you yes. ain't gonna like that shit. Exactly. <laughs> that experience though, where I'm like, man, fuck this, I quit. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like some artists would rather be a major, some artists would rather be independent. Well, no, he definitely wants major. to be at the major. I yeah. definitely yes. wanna be at the major. You, Listen, I'm gonna be honest. You don't wanna call radio yourself. Yo, independent, you got ten independent albums. I'm gonna get to that. Wait a second. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Salute. 
If you got a guy who did three albums, right? Major. And a guy who did three albums, independent, same grind, same hustle, same type of hit records. I guarantee you the guy that's independent might got a little bit more bread, but he got way more gray hairs. Props! I ain't get one gray yet. It's coming, brother. I'm getting offended. I'm getting offended right now. He's a management gray hair. This is a management artist. His gray started coming in last year. Okay, okay. And that's the point I'm trying to make is you guys can make the same amount of money. It's just independent. is us run. It's a run. But, but the independent oh, leaves a longer legacy yeah. to their families, though, in ownership. Yeah. Okay, and I'm not working for anybody major. I want to <laughs> say this. No, I want to say this because here's the seesaw. Right. On one hand, you're absolutely correct because you're leaving a legacy to your family as far as riches, as far as ownership, ownership, ownership. ownership. But that record that a major put 500 grand in mm. and gave you 100 million in audience, that record will never die neither. That's right. That's true. It's not ownership. It's just like the lady in the projects. She's lived there for 200 years. Mm. She's paying rent. But ask that lady, do she own it? Mm. She say, this is mine, baby. Right. And she knows she don't own it. She knows she paid the city eight dollars a month. What's a good deal? Not eight dollars. So this is wait, she's the one on the major. She's on the major, and, bro. And, 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 <laughs> and that major should be victor at any moment. Great point. Great point. Uh, and I'm agreeing. Yeah, yeah. I'm agreeing with that. But what I'm trying to say is, it's kind of like. And, and, and remember, times are different. To be okay. on a major in the '90s. Way to be a major. No, I'm talking about Post being on a major and catching that major weight. But everybody don't catch a hit to sign on major. Right. Only 1% do. I ain't talking about the ones one. that don't. Not even 1% of the ones that do. I'm talking about the ones that point, do. Point zero zero one point two percent I'm, Listen, bro. I'm talking about the ones that do. <laughs> for one hit, I've done this. You can tour for three years. If you smart... Now your shit is a different era. I'm telling you, it's okay, a different I, era. I can't, I can't debate that. Part. That's the reality. Though. I can't debate different that. Different budgets, part. different but era. I've done a half a hit, a year and a half tour. Mm. I've done that. Grimy wasn't a full fledged half a, right. a whole hit, but I've done a whole. <laughs> <laughs> it was almost there. Yeah, half a hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Got it. So, but now I'm not saying independent is not now, independent. It's that. It's not for you, everybody, man. It's you can't miss like yo, if I'm if I'm if I'm major, I go to Minneapolis and I gotta go to Indianapolis the next day and I miss Minneapolis morning show, I can come back to Minneapolis. They, it's, it's cool, yo, my bad. Not only gonna do the morning show, I'm gonna do an afternoon meet and greet. Mm -hmm. You mix mm -hmm. it one time and independent, the niggas like, fuck him. Because they know they got that power over you. It depends what kind of independent artist yeah. you yeah. are, though. Okay. Because you, you know, fuck with E1, obviously. Um, not directly. Like I did business with with Chuck Wilson, with I Hip Hop. That's shout out, me. shout out to oh. Chuck Wilson, just because I learned. That's not Baby Grand. That's Baby Grand. Yeah, okay. Baby Grand. <clears throat> Same, you know, sub subsidy. Mm -hmm. Um, I learned the business from. I won't. I won't. I won't say doing bad business as if he, somebody did anything that I wasn't aware of, right? Mm -hmm. But you learn certain things when you're independent that you might not learn That's very true. when you're a major, right? right? So you learn from experience. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in the hood, we got this, uh, this phrase, is cheat the niggas how you teach the nigga, right? So again, sir? cheat the niggas how you teach the nigga. Right, so cheat the nigga. Cheat the niggas how you teach the nigga. Cheat the nigga how you teach the nigga. Okay. And I'm not even saying that. So we're gonna change it to cheat the yalla. Cheat the yalla. How you teach the yalla? Teach the yalla. Okay, let's right. keep going. So I'm not insinuated I got cheated because I had a lawyer. Mm. And and when you got a family and you independent, mm. so to speak, you know, if you're not busting the road, <clears throat> doing tours and getting features or doing what you're doing, mm -hmm. you got to figure it out. You in the street. Mm -hmm. You yeah. feel me? And um, <clears throat> when them advances and, and different languages come, mm -hmm. even if your lawyer is saying to you perpetuity, 
which is a word I feel like every independent artist artist should know and be you gotta, afraid of. You gotta know that. Right, you gotta yeah. know that word because that word you say perpetuity for when people say it means forever. <laughs> not gratuity, not yeah. taxes. Not this shit. I'm talking and about that, this. That's is not the shit that comes extra and be behind. No, 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 no. You no, think no, it's not extra perfect. No, no. Gravituity. Right, no, right, no, right. Not gratuity. Not gratuity. Not gratuity. Not gratuity. Not not nothing. Perpetuity is forever, and yeah. if you see that word, you run from that word. If you're an independent artist, yeah. I might be giving away too much game, but I don't care. No, nah, give I'm it pro, all. I'm an artist, please. and I'm pro artist. So, how did you learn this word? Somebody came to you and said perpetuity. So I learned perpetuity. this word from having certain assets in perpetuity, and then you know when I go back and they explain this word perpetuity to me, I'm like, well, what can I do? And it's like you can't do nothing, nothing. <laughs> you know. So, moving forward, because that's the learning curve, and, and that's not. To disrespect anybody I've done. No, but, but artists need to know. But when they see that need word. To, artists need to know to run from right. that word. Right. Um, and I'm not saying that's, I don't know what kind of business he's doing now or what, what's what, and I'm not slandering him because I'm sure he's going to see this. It's all love. I'm, I'm, I'm getting money. Who are we talking about? I'm talking about Chuck. I'm talking about the business. <clears throat> Chuck but anyway, he's not even a foul nigga. He we do heard. business. He's not a foul <laughs> nigga at all. He's not a foul heard. nigga. He's actually a good nigga. You know what I mean? But you know he does business. You, get, he what jerk, right. you get, get what you negotiate. Right. Somebody else. Nah, it's not your fault. You get what you, you, get what you the, negotiate the contract, at the end of the day. You ain't got to do that. You know what I mean? You be like, I'm gonna throw in perpetuity. Maybe they won't see that. Yeah, or maybe they won't care. Oh yeah, maybe the money's worth perpetuity. Right. Don't want continuity while you at it. Right. Don't want continuity. But you know, moving forward, like I own. Everything else of my masters. masters for the last I ten years, right? Own my last masters. Because make some noise for that, okay? So where you know, like, if it's time for me to just pass my shit down to one of my kids, a piece, like, here, this is for you, this is for you, this is for you. I can do that, mm -hmm. and I feel like stepping away and just consulting and doing what the fuck I feel like doing. But what made you like? Was it was it that majors turned you away, or what? I shucked, I tried the shuck and jive. You know what I mean? Okay. I went, I went, and I sat with L.A. Reed. Shout out to L.A. Reed. Um, shout out to Aaron Reed. He was Alan Reed. Aaron, his Aaron. son. His son. Yeah, okay. that's that's my homie. Um, and uh, he got me in there, and I did the whole, you know, performing in front of the staff, Sylvia. Everybody. Did the Bobby Smurda shit? Hey, hey. It's not one of my. It's not one of my favorite. Did you jump moments, on the table like I, Bobby Smurda? No, I didn't jump on the table. Yeah, yeah, you can't but, do that. But, um, but like to have to do that is not one of your favorite moments. No, it's not. Nah, because you know. Looking back at it, like I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it didn't happen because right. it might have put an expiration date on my shit, mm. right? So I felt like my ceiling. You can't tell me what my ceiling is because you don't know what my ceiling is because I'm still going. You can't no. see my yeah, ceiling. And you built a brand right? that, that like Freddie Gibbs. Going. Like Freddie Gibbs had the same attitude. You see, he just That's my linked up with Atlantic. I think you deserve that experience. Not, I mean, just to fuck off somebody else's money. I mean, just, but I guarantee you. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. I'm not feeling. No, no, no. I'm gonna be honest. No, no, no. I'm gonna be honest. I'm sorry. Listen, listen. I'm sorry because I'm married. This is a fucked up analogy. No, it's okay. It's a fucked up analogy, right? But sometimes you ever pay for a pussy, like. Like I'm listen. I know we New York niggas. Let's just say pussy, right? At some point, all of us. That's a trick question. Everybody pay for pussy. Everybody pay for pussy. Everybody pay for pussy. I'm so sorry. It's a man's color. So everybody pay for pussy at the end of the day. So if you ever pay for pussy, it feels so much better. To tell him to leave when the homie paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, all right, cool, fuck it, damn, I, 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 the homie paid. No. <laughs> and that's what that's what the bitch is. That's what the bitch is. It's like, yo, you know what? I'm paying. I'm still the bitch. I still pay bus fare. I still pay bus fare. But guess what? The homie paid for it, though. You know what I'm saying? That's what the bitch. I'm going too far. See, see, I don't, I don't, I don't know neither. But paying for pussy, paying for pussy is like, you know, movies or. Dinner, or and it's not in the frugal, or I won't do away, but I'm just saying, okay, that's the analogy that I'm taking it in because mm -hmm. I don't play in that ball, I don't play in the ballpark. I just got to just but, 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 say that. Sorry, but, but to be clear. based on what he said on Freddie Gibbs, and I don't know Freddie Gibbs' business, but Freddie Gibbs is that check, y'all. It's different when you check. when you independent and then go get distributed through so a major. Got, got that's leverage. a whole different ball game. game. No, I don't think he got that, distributed. I think this album is but on now Atlanta. Coming, you, when you, when it's you it's all, different. You can retain you rights. You can do all kinds of shit. And you go to a major, it's a different contract they're offering you. Yeah, it's a different. You got leverage now. That's what I'm it's saying. a different that's conversation. What, that's what I'm talking about. Because it's partnership. It's not doing It's a partnership. You know what I mean? It's all in verbiage. And I learned that from speaking to Nip, God bless, and it's his birthday God today. Yeah, you know, God, bless. Birthday. God bless. Everybody, let's take a moment of silence for Nipsey Hussle, brothers. Rest in peace, Nip.
Oh, Make some noise, yeah. yeah. You know, that's that's a, that was one of my good friends. Um, right. You know, he was signed to Cinematic. He was signed first. Yeah. Yeah. first. Wow. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Shake found him. Wow. Johnny found him. I feel like I want to say Steve LaBelle. I, no, feel like I Steve want to say it was through Felly Fell. Yeah. Shout out Felly Fell. 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 Steve LaBelle? No, Steve was there. Okay, Steve was there. Steve was there. And Shake was the label. Right. But and I feel like um when we were working with Sean Kingston. Shout out to Sean Kingston too. I heard you was writing rhymes for Sean Kingston and shit like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on beautiful on, on the first album. You wrote rhymes or singing? Oh. You, you write singing shit? You write right. singing shit? Singin 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 you write singing shit? 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 You write He's doing his job though. Good. Around, the time, the around the time, uh, this was, is my shot glass. Yes. Around the time we was working with Sean um, Kingston, Kingston, my man, Wagwan, Wagwan. Shout out to That's Kirk. Florida, Florida, shout out to Kalima. Right shout out to Mom. Yeah. He's Florida. Yeah, 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 he from, yeah, he from yeah, here. Yeah, from here. Um, so you know, around the time we was working with him, he was you know beautiful girls was making this rounds. Beautiful girl. All right. Um, and Felly was helping break a lot of Sean's records. Yeah. And I feel like Felly put Nipsey on Shipes' radar. Mm. And I remember the first time we heard, um, I got the name of the record, but it was, I don't give a fuck. Ride with my window and my B turned up, AC burning in the end. And I was like, oh shit, this nigga is, wow. is serious. Wow. And you know, Shipes is a, is a person that, if he fuck with you, wherever you come from, he, he going. He flying out. He want to mm. go see how you living and Shipes go see what's going on. from when you met him? Nah, me and Shikes was broke together. God it was yeah. so good. sandwiches, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, we made it look good. What kind of sandwiches? Let me just... Turkey and cheese. Okay. <laughs> you know Extra what I mean? mayonnaise Not, or less mayonnaise? Like, less mayonnaise, because he was a nigga always cared about his diet. Oh, okay. Even though he would get fat like and skinny. extra mayonnaise out here. <laughs> we from the hood, so it would be a little yeah. different, but Shikes from Upper West Side, so, mm. you know, he, he related to mm. what was going on. So, you know, anytime he liked the artist, he would fly out to where Y'all had artists at. from everywhere. Like, Everybody. That was dope about Cinematic. from Mississippi, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? But we flew out to LA, to South Central, and we linked with Big U and Steve and them. That's dope. You and know you was mean? going and as I, management, or you was going as... I was just going with my homie, because every wow. time, you know, he made a move, I was the wingman, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, we done... Salute, you got your shots? Yeah, yeah. got shots. God damn, yeah. got your shots together, God damn. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, moving forward, Nip was the person that that really put me on a. And you said Nipsey told you something. About the verbiage. The, okay. Of perpetuity. Oh, I thought you said okay. Nah, perpetuity. Nah, not perpetuity. <laughs> Pop that too. By the way, but, we learned a new word, folks. Perpetuity. Yeah, perpetuity. I didn't learn a new yeah. word. I mean, for the you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for the viewers. Um, but but Nip was the one that that really schooled me on you know doing it yourself. Mm. And, and the verbiage, if you do want to upstream mm. your shit to a major, it's not you being signed to a major, it's your partnering with the major. Yeah. So it's mm. partnership. It's, mm. it's all with verbiage. Mm -hmm. And it's how they look at you, too. So all Sid Hove told us back in the days. That, too. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And even speaking to Dame, you know what I mean? Right. Dame will always tell me, yo, cut the middleman. Right. You know what I mean? Like, this is, you know. Dame was always preaching. He was yeah. always. Yeah. He was on point. Even though he was, you know. The, the label, he was still pro artist too because yeah. he wants every artist that come up under him to be elite. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Whoever that is. I, I call him Professor X because that's his whole, you know, spiel. But um, Nip put me on to the, the partnership and, you know, doing the Proud to Pay campaign. Like, I wish in hindsight I would have listened mm. earlier mm. when he was telling me this because I would have got to where I wanted to get to sooner. You know what I mean? But, um... You ever took ecstasy? <laughs> Man, <Matt> Brad, <Brando. laughs> <laughs> We learned a new word. Like, you ever took ecstasy? <laughs> nah, nigga. Molly, nothing? Nah. MDMA? None of that Mushrooms, shit. nothing? You gotta go. Cause the most extreme shit I probably did was uh, drink lean at one point in life, and, I, and that wasn't no good. Yeah. He's excited. Like, not in control. Yeah, that wasn't. It's like this. Yeah. You ever seen a bionic man? That's when you drink link. Yeah, that's just stupid. It's like the that's how you shit. feel, or that's how you see. No, that's how you move. That's, that's how you move. It's slow motion. Fall asleep with your. Never seen a bionic man. I'm the oldest nigga in here. My bad. Nah, I've nah, seen a bionic man. Bionic? Be, I hang out with P. Rock. So okay, oh, yeah, that's right. Let's pick up the P. Rock. <laughs> 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 Don't ask problems. By yeah. the way, if you're not following Pete Rock on Instagram, you see to smack yourself in the yeah. face. 
He's hilarious on Instagram. You don't know. No, no, he, he throws shit up there. He lets you Let really you. think about what it this is. This nigga so. Pete, I don't know when he goes to sleep or how he wakes up. And he's like vegan, but not I know, vegan. I know at 5 a.m. If me and P Rock, it's not seeing eye to eye, mm. I'm gonna get a thread of a fucking text message at 6 a.m. And I'm like, oh. how are you up? I just seen you tweeting. I mean, I just seen you on a gram. Right. Maybe at midnight, my nigga. It's 5 a.m. Mm. But Pete is the most fucking entertaining person on the gram for me because yes, he's going he to go rip shit from every other page. Yeah. And that's the news for him. Yeah, and it, so, it makes it crazy. But how do y'all yeah, connect? So, how do y'all two connect? I used to carry Pete crates to get in the club. No, See, that's old school hip hop shit. This is real. Real. I paid my dues. Because you don't got records. <laughs> that's real hip hop shit. That's real shit. shit. Boris used to carry my crates. He used to carry my crates. What year? What year was this? It's got to be like 99. Good I'm 36, so I'm still fairly a young nigga. You wow. feel me? So um, coming up, like, Shipes always found his way to managing these legendary artists. And when are you and Shipes? What year did y'all connect? I connected with Shipes when I was 17. So, okay, uh, like we don't even need the year. Right. right. Mm, so this is saying. when I was battle rapping, but anyway, right. um, mm. the fuck? Oh, yeah, I carried this nigga Pete. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. Okay. <laughs> but, um, you ain't battle Lux or them niggas or nothing. This is before, yeah. this before it got commercial. I mean, mm. Pop was always out, Mook was always, this is T Rex era. T Rex was the first nigga that I knew that was rapping for real. Mm. You know what I mean? Because we all, we all from the same block. Me, mm. Rex, Mook, you know what mm. I mean? So, <clears throat> that was the first nigga that he was the standard of rap when we was coming up. Mook. Younger. Rex. Rex. He was the first nigga. Um, but Mook is like know, the Floyd Mayweather. Mook is Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Floyd I've never Mayweather. seen him lose a battle. Ever. Yeah. I, I, I didn't mean, never see him lose a battle. to anybody's battle, belief. Man. I'm not yeah. saying that. I've never seen Mook lose a battle. I've never seen him lose a battle ever in my life. And that's and I'm not called being biased. Me at 5 o'clock in the morning. Or I might have called him. We called each other. The way that story changed, we called each other. Because he posted some shit about Mook, and you know that's my favorite battle rapper. So I just wanted to talk shit because that's the type of nigga Buster is, like at 5 o'clock in the morning. So I was like, yo. I know that. That nigga ain't got no bar. That nigga ain't got no album. Because I'm murder Mook's biggest fan, but I can't tell Buster this at this time. I just want to beef with him. <laughs> I'm about to go jogging, so this is the perfect steroids I need. Like in my mind, just so I'm like, yo, what's up, boss? Mook ain't out, man. Don't be that fire. He's like, what? <laughs> this is exactly why we took this long. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I didn't know you had took long, but I'm not saying that. That's why I'm the beef. I'm like, yeah. what? What you mean taking long? He's like, yeah, because because our people think battle rappers can't can make a piece of work. And I'm like, yeah. So he made a piece of you made he made a piece of work. He's like, yo, he made him, and he's going in on this shit. I, I love that shit because like Buster really, he really, really believes. Nah, he and, passionate. And, he believe in yeah, he believes. And Mook's boss is there, so it's just about Mook's applying. Mook's a rapper's rapper, man. Yeah, he's a rapper's rapper. So it's just about applying. Like that's like having the paint, having the outline. It's just about painting in between the lines. Now. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. all he has to actually do is paint in between the lines. In my opinion, because because I, I, I know who Buster is. That is. Yes. Listen, I, I call Buster almost like 14 times every month just to see <laughs> if he's in the That number is so exact. Like, 14 just times to see, every month. Like in an awkward moment, too, like awkward times, like 8.30 at night. You in the studio? And he's like, nah, I'm over here. And then I'm like, all right, cool, 2.30 in the morning. Yeah, I'm in the studio. <laughs> like, he has not stopped. Yeah. Has not. He's he's the most relentless, but he's got to be the worst. Have you worked with Boss? Yeah, he's was, I, was man, I was managing him for a minute. He's very, very meticulous, very dedicated. Meticulous? He, that very sounds meticulous. like a great word to say <laughs> difficult. No, meticulous. No, very detailed. Very detailed. <laughs> detailed. Detail. 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 You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he goes to perfection. <laughs> like, Dr. Dre great. is meticulous. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that, and that's a that's a perfect. Yeah, that's a perfect yeah, yeah. He's my friend and he's difficult. He's oh man, he's come on. Come on. He, got, he got a great album coming too. His album no, his amazing. album is phenomenal. His album's amazing. I think him and Dre's album are gonna come out at the same time. Mm. They are. Listen, listen. Once Dre's coming out with an album. You think so? Now that he's getting divorced. Yeah, I'll be that talking. That album's out. coming out. Detox. It's coming out. I don't know Detox why it's coming. Yeah, yeah, it's coming out. I don't know if he got to do it. He had a prenup. Let me tell you something, bro. Mm. 
No, I'm not saying because of that. Oh, okay. I'm saying because when you, you get say bad music, like no, bad no, situation, it's gonna inspire music. him to yeah. go work. Is what I'm Maybe, saying. Yeah. yeah, that's what I mean. Well, bu- Bust album is fire, man. It's- Let me tell you something, bro. That is my inspiration. I call him every, like I said, every couple of days. I just argue with him. Like I just want to argue with him. <laughs> Like I, want I can't to like, imagine that argument. Not an argument. I just want to disagree. That's what it is because he's a very strong disbeliever of disagreement. Oh, he likes to debate. The great he loves debate. the debate. So yeah. I'll be like, yeah. I'll just say some shit like, I don't think that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's correct. <laughs> but I, I, know, I can't imagine anybody winning against Buster in any debate. I never said I win, brother. <laughs> I just need that energy. I need that. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I need that. And when he gives me that, I'm like, all right, cool, I'm going to run. <laughs> and he, he knows that shit. But um, that he's, he's a very unique individual. So you guys also work with Cameron. Yeah, shapes Cameron like also seems like a difficult individual. I'm just throwing it out there. You don't want to use the word difficult. What do you use again? What is it called? Meticulous. Meticulous. Nah, Cam is not no? difficult at you all. You sure he don't want pink M&M's? Nah, he's not that guy. <laughs> no, Cam is Cam, Cam, an ill nigga, man. Cam just want to make sure you got the car service there to get him there and mm. make sure the money right. Super money easy. right and car service. Yeah, Cam is We, we got to get our money right and get our car service and get Cam <laughs> on, on here. Goddamn, make some noise, goddamn. <laughs> Damn, my money ain't right, and we ain't got no car service. Let's work this out. Let's work this out. We love you, brother. That, you know, you know, me and Cam at one point, we was like Jay and Nas of our era in yep. 1998. Mm. We, ain't, we ain't be able to get it back together. Y'all niggas ain't offer me so champagne or nothing. I knew Brooklyn and Harlem niggas. Y'all niggas oh, get I, ain't even, I ain't even caught upon it. I just opened it. That's you. Come on, you know? Am I supposed to? You ain't even. What's up? What you smoking? Am I supposed to keep my tunnel bottles? It's called Spread Love. Spread Love in Brooklyn way. You know this drink champ, so I had to come. Yo, I ain't for you. Got all different types of flavors. What are you got going on over there? Is that smoke or is that? Oh, this smoke is called premium package. You know what I mean? Oh shit. We go. We going. Yeah, get a shot soon. of that. We're going to get a shot of that. very soon. Smokes Club shit. Smokes Club. Club. And what's those two Shout joints? Johnny Shice, bro. Huh? What's those two joints? There's different shit of what? This is some... This is Miami's finest. This is some Griffey? wafers. Oh, sorry. And this is some... Uh, old school. What? Old school. Wafers. Wafers? Oh, wafers. I've never wafers. Like that. vanilla okay. wafers. Wafers. Okay. And this is um some runs. Runs, okay. I mean, okay. this is all shit that's gonna make you sweat. Okay, I'll give, I'll give you a little smorgasbord of them all. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We, get, we, get we in here, baby. Yeah, we in here, baby. Yeah, yeah, baby. We, we having fun. Okay, that's some, some run. Okay. Can you, can you roll one run for me? You wanted me? Oh, he tested negative, that's right. Oh, you just tested negative, bro. <laughs> come on. He said he tested come on, negative. Come on, come on, yeah. come on, come on, yeah. come on, Boris. <laughs> Do we have more cigars? Yeah, yeah we got more cigars. Got that. Go this, take it to the I got some paper. I don't know if y'all smoke so, papers and shit. I got some. Oh, got some papers. papers I'm, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Nah, nah. I, I feel you. I trust me. My lungs I'm, is old school. Nah, niggas, niggas get. Speaking of papers, because we back on weed. My lungs is preaching them niggas from Harlem from uh, back in the I days. My lungs is back there. <laughs> what we yeah. doing with the smoke champs, man? Let's smoke do it, bro. Listen, what are we man? doing? Because we got some. This is me too. This is all that you. All that you. Come on, come on. Look, this this collector. Boris. This is a collector's item for the niggas that do want to come smoke papers and smoke papers. Some smoke papers. I'm not gonna lie, right I'm gonna hold this, I'm not gonna smoke this. I'm gonna put this in my hip hop memorabilia yeah, in my house. Some smoke doesn't be honest. Like that nobody down. gets that. Yeah, hold that <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, what we doing with the smoke Smoke chance? Chance. Where did the EFA go? We are Let's ready. do it. Listen, actually, we already think we gotta move for y'all. Where y'all don't even like, you know. Yeah. We're actually yeah, off air. I think we gotta move. Let's okay. get this money. You know, where, um, boom, yeah. We're, yeah, like, let's, we go let's let go LA a couple days. Yeah, because we ready. Episodes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Me, me and him, we got our own podcast and, when we on FaceTime. Right. So we just so, need we wait. just need the we just need the people to hear what we got going on. Okay, okay. Because that's our conversations as it is. Okay, bro. y'all working together now, right? Yeah. All right, work together, brothers. Teamwork. Yeah, teamwork make the dream work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we, we need to do the smoke champs. No, we're gonna man. do that, brother. We're gonna do that. No, we got your back, bro. And you know what? Thank Let you, me tell you something. Brother. I respect y'all both. Um you and Karen, and motherfucking Ovan. I respect all, all everybody. So and you know, putting the play together. So it's this ain't nothing to it but to do it, goddamn. Let's go. You definitely did open the bottle and then take no something to drink, yeah, nigga. Get something to drink, nigga. Nah, I'm out with drink chat. You was talking. No, 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 this is drink chat. You gonna, <laughs> and you, and you and got I don't even drink rose drink. no more, but I'm uh-huh. drinking it with you, right, goddamn. Come on, come on. Because you over there with a, a Hulk Hogan and a cinematic chain and a smokers club chain, and you were out here looking very rich. And goddamn. Right, the Sean Kingston joints, goddamn. Nah, Sean Kingston money. And your relationship with Dapper Dan. That's look, Dap. Watch me grow up. Mm. You know what I mean? Dab knew me before I rapped. Mm. When I was playing basketball, me and Jelani, <clears throat> his son, um, we both went to private school. 
You, mm. We was the niggas in the hood that wore uniforms. That's why you know them big words, because of private school. I respect that. <laughs> that it, with that, watching wrestling and just reading books, because I, mm. like, I like reading books. Um, mm. But me and Jelani, we was the two kids out the hood that went to private school. Mm. And um, <clears throat> we both like basketball. So before we went on our journeys to get to school, we'd be in the schoolyard shooting. Mm. I mean, um, and fast forward when I started rapping, they always supported me. But you ever went to Dap store as a little I, nigga? I used to be. I used to go to Dap crib. Who'd you see? Like, who'd you see in Dap store? I right? like. I ain't gonna front. I never was really in the store. I heard all the stories. I heard about the Mike Tyson, Mitch Green. Dap man, tell me all I the stories. Lie. I ain't make it to the store neither. Oh man, bro. I, I hear all the stories. And I'm 42, so I'm out of line. Yeah. I should've, I should've been. <laughs> you should have been, been in the store. Been there. I wouldn't you get money back when then. When he I'm tell me all the, I feel you. I'm fucking going somewhere. I ain't going to Let me put you on. When we was younger, right? You know, because kids is cruel. So mm -hmm. a lot, a lot of the kids, that that was the first bootleg as a as a kid. So if your iceberg didn't have Gilmo on it, you know what I mean? Niggas was coming for you. Niggas was like, oh, that's me, bye, that. It was like a joke, mm -hmm. right? So when we was younger, we didn't get the significance mm -hmm. of who he was and what he was in this hip in the hip hop culture. Mm -hmm. Right now, fast forward. Before he got the Gucci, Dap style, well, a kill his Gucci grandson. Gucci and Louis Vuitton both fit the Dap style. Facts. Dap but before he even got there, I used him for the Don't Smoke Rock cover with me and Pete. You and Pete Rock. Right, just was because the I Jeep? was the, the Jeep. Wasn't that Jeep that we had turtlenecks, the whole suit, Dap did all of that. Oh, so word. the whole aesthetic. Pull it up, pull it up. Yeah, pull it up. The so, whole, I wanted the whole aesthetic to feel like, you know, after. Yeah, where's Haz at? Haz, you doing okay? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted the whole aesthetic to be like after New Jack City, right? So mm. New Jack City came out oh, like now I get it because it's all black. You feel me? Oh, I didn't so understand I was, that. It right, went over Nino my Brown head. Shit. It went over my Nino head. Brown Big shit. Casanova. But after Nino Brown, you feel right. me? Like mm. well, what that would have looked like. Mm. And, and, the modern Nino Brown. Right, right, and the whole, the music was like black exploitation because mm. you know, that's what I was watching and, and just studying lines. So y'all cleared those fly. samples? We no, we got the whole album That's we played. A, yeah. So you know, and it wasn't the well, direct interpolation. <laughs> That's, 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 that's how rich people avoid taxes. Right, they, right. They, they replay. And, and, it's called right, replay. Right, and it yeah. wasn't direct. It's very, it, very hot questioning. Yeah. It's, it's okay because it, 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 no, it, it's okay because it wasn't direct interpretation. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, it's true. So, so, so Damn, good. this nigga really do know you. And, and it's, no, not right. it's not a perpetuity. It's not a perpetuity. Because, you know, like I said, I bumped my toe and hit my head so much in this shit, right, that if you don't learn, you deserve everything you get. Mm, right. So at this point, I'm just moving off experience. You know what I mean? And... Speaking to my peers and knowing that you know, a lot of Who's people been in these situations. Oh, living off experience. Uh, that's living off experience. I thought you yeah, dropped the locks bar. Yeah. I said, oh, okay, yeah. all right. He's supposed to say living off experience. Nah, I was, I was. After I said that, I'm like, damn, this is living. But um, but yeah, but you know, that's I'm moving off experience. Hip hop niggas. You both caught that. You both looked at each other like there's something missing right here. Right, right, right. Shout to the locks. Shout out to the locks. But you know, the the fact that I I've been through so much shit. Just doing business, mm. you gotta learn from it, right. you know. So I'm I'm moving with a, a sense of being wise than just being thirst. Like all money ain't good money. Like I'm I'm good on certain shit, you know what I mean? So they have one of the first ASAP Rocky features as well. I was the first nigga to give one. Rocky a feature, mm. and 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 you know I always mm. believed in Rocky and Yams. God bless. Yams used to come to my shows. Was um um Rocky's. Yeah, I'm out. I feel was like it he had. Nah, he had, he two, had, he had the twist. He had the two. He had the twist. At, he at didn't have time. a perm. He ain't had a perm. Okay. Let's talk um, about that. You know, he was the first nigga I seen wearing Jeremy Scotts mm. at that time. You know what I mean? That's he the, was just the, the Yala with the, the, the Yala with Adidas the, with, the, with the flag. Right, with the pandas and yeah, all that. Was, uh, okay. Right, and, and Rocky always had this energy with him. Mm. Um, like he was from Soho, not, but he now, from Hall. Right, but I'm gonna tell a real story, right? So, my man Steve. Uh, my brother, somebody I grew up with that was managing me, right? So we went into the whole, before we was like, you know, friends mm. that come in that they end up managing mm. people in. But he's still doing good because he's managing other big artists as well. Um, but he was the one that encouraged me to work with ASAP Rocky at the mm. time. 
Because the record for Loco that I had, I wanted to put Juicy J on the record. <clears throat> this is when Juicy J was getting trippy. Mm. He was just coming off the Smokers Club tour. Right. And we had a report. So you, yeah, you had and it. we was already speaking, so I'm like, nah, I'm going to put Juicy on this. And he's like, nah, let's keep it hauling. This is kid ASAP Rocky. I'm like, who the fuck is ASAP Rocky? Like, who told you about ASAP Rocky? My man Steve. Steve okay, Hall. Steve, okay. Um, and, you know, I always... <clears throat> That's Steve from Piff Unit. No, 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 okay. no, no, no. Um, I always took his word... As goal because Steve O from Def Jam? No, not Steve O from Def Jam. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm GFC, GFC. Not Steve O from Jackass, right? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. GFC. Steve you got any more Steve? Steve? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve no, shout out not to Steve. That's Steve Kendall, right? Nah, no, nigga. No, GFC <laughs> Steve O. Shout out to Steve. Shout out to Saint. Right, 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 but um, right, right. but but yeah, you know, when when he told me like let's keep the energy in Harlem, you know what I mean? I couldn't really go against that. Mm. And you and know, this is before. And this is before. Yeah, this is before pesos. This is before anything. It, this was just me betting on somebody that uh, I believed in my man saying that, all right, this right. kid is going to be next. And I'm like, fuck it. My, what, what could be the worst thing to happen, right? right? So I put the nigga on the record. Nigga start going. Then after a while, everybody hitting my phone for Rocky. Like, Why is niggas hitting? I don't manage this nigga. Uh, Everybody's trying to sign this thing. Everybody trying to... And fast forward, he signed the Polo Browns and ASAP and everything else. Brian but, Leach. Brian Leach. But yeah. you know... I always, Gino I fuck Sims. with Rocky and he'll always be No Gino Sims? I know Gino. Well, I know of him. I don't know him, but I know of him. That's my brother. Um, Big up Gino Sims, Brian Leach. Gino, yeah. But once, once Rocky got to where he got to, he still came back and was like, yo, what's up? What are we doing? Well, you can still get a record with him right That's now? Right. You know what I yeah. mean? So Even after the draws ad, you know you got to add with draws. <laughs> That's just, my nigga. He gets yeah. to the money. You know what I mean? Yeah. He doing, he doing what he nigga. doing. He doing what he doing. But, you know, he, he never got weird on me. Mm. You feel me? Like he always was a nigga to be Who's like. This nigga got weird on you. Let's just throw it out. This drink champs here. This nigga got weird I, on you. No, it's a lot of weird niggas, but I, I won't even say niggas that got weird on me because it's the music business. You know what I mean? Like I, I could tell you the they niggas that didn't. They got music business on you. Look, I can, tell, did? Right, no, I can tell you the niggas that, that didn't get weird. Yeah, you know what I mean? Niggas like Big Crit. You know what I mean? Niggas like Wiz Khalifa. You know what I mean? These currency. You know what I mean? Wale. Wiz Khalifa. Let's get Wiz Khalifa on the phone. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> about to call Let's see which one call. picks up first. Nah, he definitely ain't picking up for me. He, me I see. smoke blunts. He, 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 he <laughs> wanna kick me out of the studio. See, see, the see. thing is with my friends with their phones, these niggas. It's gonna be interesting. These niggas, um, see, he gonna kick, sometimes they kick me out. He kick, he be kicking kick you out. out. He ain't kick me out. So, you know, I got guns. What? <laughs> but he, he, but he, friends don't. Sometimes I see him kick niggas out on their phones. Young we niggas. all got phone problems. See, young, young niggas is probably like, why did, why he calling me on FaceTime? Yeah, exactly. You know, I don't call no young nigga on FaceTime. <laughs> I don't even call Fat Joe B.A. me on FaceTime. I'm like, nigga, you in your 40s. You better stop. <laughs> we got to stop this FaceTime shit. All right, where's Khalifa did not pick up? He, oh, you called him? Yes, and I, I'm call, and I was calling him. Let's call, call, call him right now. Call him right now. I'm going to call him again. No, no, no. Now, if you pick up this, this is good. Call Go again. Because I was calling him at the same Y'all time. Y'all doing a setup right now. Yeah, we are. I like this segment, man. This is dope. Here we go. Let's go. Who can be the but biggest? But see, I gotta give Wiz credit because Wiz don't answer the now, phone as now, it is like Joe that. Pick up he a text nigga. Unavailable. Foul. <laughs> Foul nigga. Come on, he's busy recording his show. Oh, yeah, let me right. let me call Wale. Let me see what Wale doing. All uh, right, yeah. That's, 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 Wale's never been on Drink Chance, by the way. Yeah, we need Wale on Drink yeah. Chance, man. Yeah. Who I got is Wakanda. <laughs> must be, I I that must be someone in Wakanda. Hold on, who is that? Where? Oh, call Wakanda. Word. Word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm calling Wale too. Are oh, you calling him too? Mm. Oh, here you go. He, there you go. Yeah, oh, he got yeah. it. Oh, he got Shit. Virgo shit, I'm good with that. I'm good. What's good, Ralph? Who? Oh, I did say that? Yes, you did. No way. Put it close to the mic. That's not true. It's that you don't come on my show, so I just throw shots at you sometimes. Because of That's why I can't go on that jump, because I'm going to just get you fried. I'm going to say so many stuff to my shit. That's what I'm talking about. Nah, come through. Come through. Come through, brother. Come through, brother. Nah, nigga. Nah, I know too many. I got too many. Too much shit that happened to me in this industry, I'm gonna just be fancy, but. Nah, nah, nah. You gotta relax. You went to B Dot, you went to Rap Radar. No, you gonna give me shit. 
Ja, men han lever. No, no. <laughs> nah, you my brother. You my brother. You my brother. I love you, man. Virgo. Yo, I love you, bro. Yo, yeah. Miami? Yeah, I'm yes. in Miami. Yo. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's good enough. That's Dang. good. That was funny. Good enough. I oh, love you, bro. Did I did say that? Yeah. In a minute. Ooh, I did say that. Just say young Chris is pinning Wale shit. He not, it definitely not, man. And he's definitely not. Definitely Wale, Wale pinning some I got it. I got it. But you I gotta relax. say I apologize. Yeah. Should I say I apologize? Yeah. Well, you, you, you have that opportunity right now. Damn, I said that. I said that. That's fast. I think you said that. I need this. Because he remember everything. You can say oh, it. Did my engineer just say I did? Say wait a minute. Wait, it has. You gotta show yourself. What? <laughs> I did say that? That's why he even answered me. Alright, jeez, Louise, Papa Jesus. I don't really know. I'll be getting too late. He's right. I agree with him. I apologize, Wale. Alright, cool. Who the fuck I said Shout to Wale for confronting that situation. <laughs> All right, I remember. And he was that petty that he remembered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was that Bur- petty Bur- that Bur- 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 Petty game mafia. We went with that. Petty game. Let's see if let's see if Corrupt, Corrupt is filming the video. He ain't gonna pick up. Let's see if you can get Capone on. Oh, Capone's my friend. All right, let's see if Capone will pick up for you. Let, let me go. see. Let me see what Dame doing. Mm. You're showing off. You get two two back to back. Let's be honest. Dame, if you get three straight, get Dame on. You get three straight. That's a shutout. Nah, Just throwing it out there. You got one. You got one. If he ain't about to pull with the dogs, yeah, with the yeah dogs I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm two for nothing. He gonna answer. All right, hold on. I'm not gonna try Nas because that's. That's, oh, that's that's a hologram. Babies, okay. Babies. Oh, I called my wife. That's not fair. I don't count. Hold on. <laughs> what the fuck I did? My mistake. I don't know. How the hell? Let me see if I can get Cam. Get Cam, you win. He probably like, nigga, I ain't promoting. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's the album out already, nigga. <laughs> Call my three out, nigga. It's over. Call my three out, nigga. Yeah, definitely a good part. All right. Oh, Joe Crack calling me back, though. Hold on. Pick it up, pick it up. Oh, shit, Joe Crack. Hey! Hey! I'm Cuban, bitch. We been smoke dizzy in Hovain. Listen, I can't get nobody on the phone just now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Some Wait, shit. I, wait, you apologize. Cuban? Are you Cuban? <laughs> I apologize. There's some Cuban shit going on right now. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with us. We just got a crowd that's going out. We got a crowd that's going out. Yo, Joe look like he about to show me. For 15 years. Que volá, ser el rey. Yo, 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 <laughs> for the next five minutes. Yeah, your dad looks like he wants to kill me, bro. We got a break. <laughs> we got a break. <laughs> Let me take a drink. Damn, I got ashes in my shit. El Boricua, me dijo que era Boricua por 10 años, 20 años. I don't know why they Entonces keep Cubano? Entonces Cubano. Entonces Cubano. Entonces Cubano. Si el padre es Cubano, entonces Cubano. Y dice que cuando se la madre de Puerto Rico, también Puerto Rico. What we got to do with this? Yeah, man. Puerto Rican. Ah. What up? What up? What up? What up? He's Cuban, B. Yo, love you, Joe. <laughs> He's showing me a Cuban poster. <laughs> Yo, I believe, I believe, bro, I believe, I believe you, bro, I believe you. I love you, I love you, my brother, thank you, thank you. All right, cool. Holy shit, I, I, I was totally called off, so I felt like I was calling somebody else. All right, all right, um. Let's see. All right, we good? What are we talking? Let's just keep see talking. Oh, nah, oh, you got somebody up? else? Nah. I feel like you got somebody else. I got I a few. Like, I got a few on, people, on. but you know I don't know what these niggas is doing. Yeah, me neither. Hold on. Let's just try anybody, bro. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna call the Dalai Lama right now. <laughs> these niggas gonna be calling me back when I'm out of here. I ain't even gonna answer for these niggas. Nah, we gonna we gonna keep it going. Nah, keep this shit going. But y'all niggas not drinking this motherfucking. This is the now why? What is the difference with Clico? What is See, the, what I is, like the Vuv. It's just some Harlem shit. I don't know, I guess. I'm, 
I just like the boob. I like the bottle. I like the fact that it come in a little box. Sometimes it come in a little bag. Every nigga don't drink that. You know what I mean? And I think you gonna stop saying it, man. What? Every y'all. Oh, you gonna huh? stop saying oh, nigga? Every, oh, that I, was his thing. That's, that's the left oh, right. Every y'all they don't drink that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna stop saying it in your real life or? I'm trying to TV stop life. saying it in my real life. Cause you know I know you off TV. No, yeah, and you know what? You know what the crazy thing was? It's a different normal. I had a great, I had a great. Uh, Went to Denver. Okay. And in Denver, I had like 35 people with me. And everybody getting money. God bless everybody getting money. It's right? a beautiful thing. And when I looked around, the only person I heard that word from was from us. Mm. So I just wanted to correct that because it's just like, it makes the white people that's cool with us feel uncomfortable when they see us say that sometimes. So I just like, you know hmm. what? We better than that. We we can do better than that. And we we the most creative. Like, cause you know, it was one part when I was in Denver, and it was I was with all my white friends, bro. Cause all of my my Colorado, uh, Cherry, Colorado uh, friends is they all white, great, great beautiful people. Mm-hmm. But they listen to the music. They drunk as us, and they editing themselves every time a uh, a word come on in the rap music. They ain't, they ain't slipping up and going, huh, my niggas. Huh. They, know they ain't they slipping up. They making their own edit, and I'm like. If they could do that, they drunk just as drunk as me. Why don't we participate in that? Mm. So that's that's my flight. I think I'm gonna lose, but I don't care. <laughs> as long as I, I can, tr- can change my environment, my circumference, yeah, that's I'm what matters. We got deep. You still, you still, you still, you still that, that was a little deep. You still, you still <laughs> my yard. <laughs> still my yard. After all that, nigga said, "It's still my nigga." You are ill, you are ill, you are ill, y'all. I'm gonna practice it while I'm with you. Yeah, practice y'all, y'all. I'm gonna practice it while I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You can't call everybody king, and you can't call everybody bro. I'm being honest. I'm gonna go listen to your classics and replace nigga with yonder. It's gonna be really hard. No, 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 no. Different rhymes. You can't replace the past. We gotta let the past. So moving forward, it's just like you said. You can't take away you and Troy. I can't take away anything we did in the past. But moving forward. We got to, you know, we should. We should because we the Yandes, y'all. And the Yallas and the Yandes is getting a Yalla, 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 Yandes. You know? A few dollars. Gotta take it back to the 70s. You know what I mean? Gotta take it back to the 70s. What's that? Start calling people slick. and mm. Slick. Because you can't say blood. Because blood right now. Blood like, is you I, might think it's gang affiliated. Listen, listen, man. Depending who you depends say. Depends where you are. Depending think, where you are. Yo, say Harlem you. is like Compton right now. Yeah. Brooklyn. On the gang shit, yeah. Yo. Y'all oh, cripping, blooding, but it's the little homies, you know what I mean? And it's, the and little it's, homies, you blaming the little homies. Or I'm not blaming, blaming them. No, 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 no. I'm not. He's just I'm not blaming that's where anybody. It's from. I'm just saying that's, that's where it's coming from. from. Mm. And I'm saying, you know, for me, like anybody that I consider my little homie, I try to put them in the path mm. to some money mm. <clears throat> or right. to some type of opportunity mm. to where it will be fruitful to not be in the street or to not be, you know, in, in any kind of gang. Type of time, and I respect gang time, especially in LA. You feel me? Like right. no, LA, LA, LA was whole, it's so deep. It's so in LA because you going hard, but like you actually, how much time did you spend in LA? I spent a lot of time in LA when mm-hmm. I was working with Sean, and you know, just, just right out there. And I won't even just say writing his shit because Sean wrote his. He wrote. He's from out here though. His shit. Why. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> he, his hook, his I hooks, like Sean, all them hooks right. came from him. You know what I mean? Um. At the beginning, when he was 15, 16, did he have some assist, assistance? He yeah. needed some you know assistance. I mean, you know, everybody don't got the, the the grown man mind at that time when they putting you in grown grown people situations yeah. to do shit. So and auto tools evolved a lot. Right, but you know, he still had to deliver that shit because you could write, I could write for my moms, but that don't mean that she gonna do what Sean did. You feel me? Oh, because you gotta deliver that shit. Right, Sean the day. Continue. And it wasn't even like writing whole songs because I didn't write everything. Sean got a mind and a pen of his own, so I never, you know, I never discredit him. I just want to say something right now. I'm smoking this diamonds. You know what diamonds is? Nah, what's that? <laughs> Try one of those. What is Homegrown. That? Some, what is that? Some of that smoke dizzle. <laughs> that's that his yellow. Yeah. All right, cool. His yellow right here, my yellow right here. Mm-hmm. Just, can you tell them what diamonds is? <laughs> you gotta... Diamonds is like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. but you know, listen, when I put that on a gram, I be going like that, and I put it on a blunt, 
you should see these weed enthusiasts. They be like, what the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs> because you know, he's supposed to put it in the home. He's supposed to put it in the dab. In, in a dab? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the y'all is blunt, co- y'all. He's close to I'm like, I figure out the foulest way. To, yeah, you put it out, I ain't gonna hold you, you know. I took a dab a few years ago fucking with this nigga Wiz, man. And I swear, man, nigga almost killed me off that dab. I yes. said from there on in, I'm never smoking this shit ever again. It's too much like, it I like went to the basin. studio. It's like, yeah, it's weed basing now. It's like free basing. It's a little bit free basing, bro. Yo, we can't like it's it's a it's it's but it's the shit I got is free basing. It's, 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 it's why I bring no, the blood. In, in the rig, in the rig with, with, with the creme brulee torch, it's a lot. It's a process. Motherfuckers make crystals out of it. But let's not forget, for for people that's watching that might think of something else, it's the purest form. A THC. It's a THC. It's THC. Yes. Dabbing. It's the purest that. form. It's the purest form. Do I need it? No, I don't need it because it's very intense. How's it created? How's it, how's it created? For um, someone that doesn't know. Well, I don't want to be. Uh, I don't. I don't want to give any misinformation with this because right, I'm not a botanist. No, no, okay. But I believe it's melted. Some. Some. Sh- I can't explain it for right. my niggas because the, the green thumbs uh-huh. would be hitting me like, yo, right. I could get somebody to burn yeah, those. Somehow they extract it. It's it. it. it just it's pure THC. I'm gonna show you yeah, what it is right but now. But it's a lot. I got it in the crib right now. Look at this side of the call back. Look at this side of the call back. Look at this guy. Welcome to Drink Chance, Capo. What's up, Chance? What's up? How the Chance doing? What's Palm, good, man? You got Smoke Dizzle, Hovain. Okay, okay. What up, Smoke? What's what up, up Paul? Paul, what up? Cool, cool, cool. What's going down? I see y'all having fun. Come yeah, on, you man. You already know, baby. Why you ain't pick up, though? Because I'm at my father's birthday party. Oh, okay, man. that's a great excuse. Great Father excuse. Father's party. <laughs> yeah, they swung all that. Oh, you already left Atlanta? Yeah, yeah, I just got back last night, but um, I had to because I added to my daughter party today. Look at my man here, bro. Happy birthday. Look at my man being a grown ass man, man. It's a grown ass man. That's our thing. That's it. That's it. That's the thing. That's that thing. All right, man. Enjoy enjoy her birthday, man. We'll hit you later. It's free. Yeah, it's cool. Peace, brother. Oh, holy moly, guacamole, baby. So now we all one, one, one. Yeah, we yeah. all want one. So I know one of these niggas. Wait, Hovain? Hovain? Oh, you got one. Oh, Hovain ain't get you no call. Try. Nah, you gotta try, Hovain. Give, give him a call. We're gonna make this one. Yeah, day. I was about to say, call the ghost, man. I'm about to call. I'm about to call this because I'm hungry. Because I'm about to call the nigga from Prime 112. <laughs> nigga, that old. Damn. Oh, I think I'm gonna win. Oh, that's, that's an ultimate flex. I think I'm gonna that's, win. That's you gonna win with that one. I called you long. <laughs> no, no, we ain't issue you long though, Eric. We can't <laughs> get a chicken store. If we call it restaurants, I'm gonna call Chipotle right now. Hold on. No, unless you got the nigga that owns Chipotle, pick up. You lose. <laughs> not going cool that. Holy moly guacamole. And I think Bottle gonna come up in a couple of ten minutes. Uh, a couple of ten minutes? Yeah, couple yeah. Ten minutes. <laughs> we gonna we're gonna ask him about his the Charles Spree Rail moment. Oh, oh, that's my nigga right man. there, man. V got a lot of lineage in him. <laughs> yeah, everybody said, oh, God. Y'all, y'all know who the Charles Spree Rail is? Y'all don't know who PJ Carlissimo is, nigga. You gotta know who it happened to. You gotta eat your PJ Carlissimo. Let me ask you this. What was the coach's name? PJ, PJ Carlissimo. Oh, word? Yeah, he choked in it. Damn, I ain't know I feel like I'm hearing shit. Oh, because I'm hearing my headphones. Yeah, all right, good. Now, this is the thing. So, one of my favorite artists of all time is the Harlem dude, Big L. Oh, my What does Big L mean to Harlem now? Oh. So, I mean, you know, that's a good question. To somebody like me that was born in the era of Big L right. and studying rap patterns and studying Big L himself, he is Mount Rushmore. Right. For a young kid, I don't really know it, how that correlates. Right, it might not. Um, Does it? Oh, a young kid from Harlem now, you know, it's certain young kids like like my artists like Jay Grams, the Jay Grams is of the world, that actually, you know, is meticulous, mm. good whole vein word, to, 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 to certain rap music and studying word again, like patterns it. and watching battle rap and, you know, doing different shit to, to sharpen his sword, pause. Right. Studying somebody like Big L will work for him, right? Yeah, because right. metaphorically, how he structured, how he set up his bars, structure, the type of beats he rapped on. Right. You know what I mean? That's for somebody that that caters to lyrics. Then you know what I mean? Like a Benny be, the Butcher. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right, like right. Mm-hmm. that is shit that kids could take. That's we covered that she was the first vitamins. people that worked with them. Did we talk yeah, about that yet? No, we didn't talk. About we didn't that talk yet. about that. How did, how 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 was you like the first person? 
work with though. I feel like let me t- let me and say when you say it, first person, like what do you he, mean? He's exactly. humble. He's a humble guy. He's a humble guy. When this people, is think, when, take people over? when people think of New York City and like New York City rappers, they don't think of Buffalo. No, 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 no. Hell no. When they think that. of New York City rappers, he's one of the people that they think of. He got the, people. When you go to certain cities, you think of who can so I? So they hit? wanted to work with you. You say? I mean, West has sent me a song. I feel like off like H Hilla Four Hilla Three, um, called Mr. Fuji with some wrestling shit. And mm-hmm. I, I remember Combat Jack <clears throat> telling me Rest about that. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. And this is before the Eminem situation, so I was Rest already privy to knowing and be and, and you know. Hearing how niggas gave it up, and I was already a fan. So when they hit me up, I'm like, you know, anybody that like wrestling that's doing that type of rap that that I do, right. I'm like, I'm embracing it because it wasn't a lot of people that was doing it at right. that point. So um, that's that's how I link with them, and you know, niggas just created a bond from then to where you know, niggas just move in unison as far as we keep each other current to what's going on. You know, even East, like I was the first person to give East. A feature that was a known nigga, you know what I mean? Like he's a staple in the city. Like, Davies, uh, uh, Davies, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like and, 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 that, and these niggas is niggas short name. right now nah, because these niggas is you. We gotta know because they big artists. You know what I right, mean? At this right. point, these niggas didn't surpass a lot of people's visions for them. You know, um, so yeah, you know, I, I don't even take it like you know, on some like stick my poke my chest out shit because each one teach one. You feel me? Like. And I'm still, niggas still on their journey at the end of the day. So, you know, that's how I give it up. A whole van to say I'm too humble. Too humble, man. Say. Too humble. You know when you on tour, you go to every city, you're like, yo, let me call my man. I know he got the weed, he might have the bitches, he's nice, mm. he's cool, he's dope MC. Mm. He that nigga from New York, like the Snoop Dogg of New York, you know what I'm saying? It's the plus. So, yeah, I want to call this nigga, yo, you got some weed. Which is yo. crucial. Yeah, you clutch. It's real nigga. It's oxygen. I like bridging the gap. I like yeah, bridging the gap. He Mark Jackson, man. Oh. I like, you know what I mean? I introduced, oh, I introduced Queens, Cam baby. and Rocky. Yeah. Like, that, you know what I mean? That was the first time them niggas met. 4, 4 a.m. Me, me, Dame, Rocky, Bari, Killer. I feel like it was pink and perms involved. <laughs> nah. perm. It was just some Harlem shit. 4 a.m. in front of El Porto. You know what I mean? El like, Porto? That's not Jim Burgers? The, nah. The, 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 the seafood joint. Buy, buy Jimbo's on the hill. Oh, on the 25th? Oh, on the 25th? Of course, oh, 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 Street from the Project. Right. Okay, I, I, I'm very familiar. Exactly. I'm very familiar. You know what I mean? Isn't that like, a Cuban spot? You know my favorite nah. burger in the world. I don't know. I feel, it sounds Cuban. Yeah, do I want to be Cuban. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite burger spot in the world is Jimbo's. Is Jimbo's still Jimbo's. open? Jimbo's still rocking 24 hours. That's why I eat Cheeseburger Baby to this day. To this day, yeah, Cheeseburger the, Baby reminds me of Jimbo's. Bro, Jimbo's to me is... Is, is, is Jimbo's just a Harlem thing? I feel it's not in the Bronx too. It's an uptown thing. Okay, uptown thing. But okay, Jimbo's, I didn't know that. Jimbo's is like Jackson Hole Jr. Jackson Hole. Jackson Hole's wow. from Queens. Jackson, you feel me? In my mind, Jackson Hole's from Queens. I'm not. I'm not yeah. sure. <laughs> but I, yeah. I, I yeah. You, so, so Jimbo's is still popping. Jimbo's still popping right and now. You, when you come you. on Saturday. We got to go to Jimbo's and get some salad. All of that. All right, I'm in. All right. You know NOE hot dogs pause? No, I don't know. Damn. 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 He's the glizzy. He's the glizzy with no glizzy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> we, go to the, we go to the stand, he say, yo, give me one with everything on it. And he, he don't put no glizzy in it. It's just the bun. Just the ketchup. bun with, with <laughs> ketchup, <laughs> sour cream, onions. Yeah, That's my psych you up. When I go, I say, I say, I give me, give me a hot dog, everything on it. No hot no dog. Hot dog. <laughs> and they were like, they were looking at me, I'm like, yeah, he I got it. He said, let me get a glizzy with everything. No, no glizzy. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm going to be honest, I'm addicted to New York onions. It's that dirt. New York onions? Nah, I, I, I know exactly dirt. what you're talking about, It's the sourcrout. I know what you're talking about. It's the fucking mustard, <laughs> the, the, the ketchup. Like, when I go to New York, I, I can't be on a diet because I got to have a, I got to have a, uh, uh, I got to have a, a hot dog, everything on it, no hot dog, and I got to have a disrespectful pizza. Mm. I got to have a pizza where I put on <laughs> nothing but red peppers. Then I'm putting on garlic. Then I'm putting on the parmesan. Then I'm putting mm. on the pepper again. Mm. Oh, and then I'm putting <laughs> salt for three minutes. Oh, oh, come on, oh, 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 no, oh, no. You might as well eat a glizzy for all that. Nigga said it's a heart attack. You might as well have a glizzy for all that. That's some other shit. I take 13 bats and I'm like, it all gotta go. And I just, but yeah, listen, it's just, it's just, and it reminds me of my childhood because, you know. Back then, like salt will make everything taste better. Like salt I don't give a fuck. You could, you could have a no, man. salt and sugar. Salt yeah. and sugar make everything sugar taste better. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a fact. Alright, that's a fact. That's a fact. Jeez Louise, Papa Cheese, man, y'all got to be reminiscent, man. <laughs> Holy moly, Papa Moly, bro. 
I'll be drinking because I feel like I'm drinking y'all champagne. Nigga, I'm drinking with you. I drink, I drink my whole shit. I take another round if y'all niggas want to do that too. It's mixed, it's mixed. Come on, open that, Cobain. Let me see. Are you a real champagne? Because you see how I was not. I know, you know me in real life. I know you in real life. Tell that story. Nah, I apologize. Mr. Lee, you don't see how I don't trust Mr. Lee? I was like this the whole time. He's popping. I'm like this. We used to drink, we used to put Patron in our champagne. See, I Anytime I'll be honest. honest, a little extra kick. I'll be honest. That's not I did not like them at that point. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> a extra kick. Me, I yo, I listen. Whole vein, Troy, eyes, they come out. We be popping. That's chilling. a dirty mix, man. We chill. Listen, that's what I'm trying to say. We Ugh. chilling. Yo, so every night, you know, these guys is popping. So I'm, you know, I want to support my dudes. I'm good, but I want to support my dudes. I come out. These niggas got rose and patron. The y'all is like no problem. They filling up my cup. I have no idea. Probably about two and a half bottles in. I burped. <laughs> Tequila. I said, nigga, I've been drinking rose this whole night. How? You know when you burp, your burp tell you. Yeah, that'll tell you whatever it is you're going to tell you. Yeah. Like, oh, man, you he he be seen. He be He be seen. He be seen. Yo, so. I'm chilling with old man. These niggas, I'm hitting. I'm about four cups deep in before I realized that y'all got y'all it. Mm. I'm like that because I don't like. All right, let me just say. Let me just say, let me be careful when I say this. It's not I don't like to kill. Mm. I like to be aware of when I'm inhaling tequila. I don't wanna. You wanna be prepared. Take my asthma pump and then realize after seven asthma pumps. The killer was in the air the whole time. I don't want to learn that way. Tell me the killer's in the yard, y'all. Right, right, right. So I'm over there like this. Four glasses. I go to the bar. He's like, no, you don't got to go nowhere. He got you right here. Take another. I'm Boston. But I'm like, I, I said, burped again. This, this is you and Troy Yeah, I said, yeah, this is a drink. I burped again. I said... This drink champ's somebody spiced me. Somebody spiced me. <laughs> I said, somebody spiced me. And I see one of them niggas like this pouring the patron in the mow and I say, oh my God. Uh, you mean we spiced Wait, y'all were doing it in the club? Yeah. Pouring in the club? All the time. In the club. That was like that was that's Brooklyn shit. That's disgusting, oh, man. That was that's some Brooklyn, Brooklyn shit, bro. That was some Brooklyn because shit. I'm gonna be honest, as a nigga with a little bit of class. <laughs> <laughs> I would take it separate. I would still do the same <laughs> shit. I would take them all at and, and I'll take a shot. With the shot. But right. not in the same class because you are doing uppers and downers. It's like taking heroin and cocaine. Mm. That's how you're equating that. Yes. I'm about to say damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. that's, a, no, that's, that's a good that's a good one. That's a take uh, heroin uh, and then take cocaine after. <laughs> Don't take it together. It's not a good thing. <laughs> oh, fuck. That, was, that was totally terrible. Was totally <laughs> that was a terrible <laughs> analogy, <laughs> but it made sense. I understood what you were saying. It made a lot of sense. <laughs> I got a picture of N.O. from that name. I'm going to show you. Yo, listen, my face is like this. <laughs> because the crazy shit is, listen, listen, fuck me up. Like, like fuck me up. Like, get me fucked up. Don't, don't, don't sneak fuck me up. Right. When you sneak fuck me up, but it was like, it was like also dope because. There's no rules to this drinking shit. Mm. It's actually like if y'all would have came and you would, if this would have bust open and would have been Bel Air, you would have won. Niggas <laughs> 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 is like he got the clique in the Bel Air, dog. <laughs> he wins, man. He wins. This nigga Ross. That's, 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 that's a fifty-two fake out. That's the super fifty-two yeah. fake out. And you was just in Ross crib. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You was in Shout Zamunda of Atlanta. Shout out to the big bro. I ain't gonna lie, I love like Ross, man. I, I fuck with Ross heavy. Ross got a compound. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 that's a compound. Horses, yeah. all type of shit. That's the bro. I feel like when he first... Bro hit me like 6 in the morning, yo, when you wake up, pull up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's my guy. I fuck with him heavy. And you said it was horses? Yeah, he got horses, man. He <laughs> 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 got horses. Multiple garages, <laughs> horses. <laughs> Anything you want in life. <laughs> Biggest pool in the U.S. He, he said Drake and Kanye can buy any bitch they ever met. Right, there's enough room for him. Enough room for him. He said Ye yeah, need to have Sunday service on the front lawn. Mm. He definitely could. You could fit about 5,000 people on that front lawn. Easy. I ain't got it, Ross. 
Shout out to Ross. Motivation. Shout out to Ross. Motivation. And that nigga Ross support independent artists. He support independent yeah. artists heavily. They got songs, videos. Because yeah, he that been through it. He been through it. He, what he did was, when he first came home, off his, you know, last stretch or whatever. Y'all. Right. Y'all. He sent me back that verse in like a week. Mm-hmm. Like when he was on house arrest. And I, I didn't expect to even get a verse back. Was the ankle model the beeping? Facts. Okay. And he Continue. sent me... He sent me a verse back and was like, yo, what you doing, baby, bro? Let's come shoot the video, come to Atlanta. Oh, for, for nothing. Always you know been I mean? solid. Nah, that's like a real just dude. a solid, solid, solid noise Rick Ross. Yeah. Yo, Rose, Rose, one of the And he cares, though. That, it's, cares. It's, not, it's not that. He, nah, he cares. He, 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 he it's not, wants to do it. He wants to like, fulfill the whole favor to the 100%. end. 100%. Like, I, I respect uh, that. He texts you, yo, how you doing? Your business is good? You straight? You need right. something? You all right? You know what I'm saying? Right. Never no issue, clan, nothing, nothing. Never. Solid, solid, solid. Bro. Give you all a game. Word. Like, kind of like how you do. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a keep, go ahead. You're going to, t- watch. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I got something, I got a, I got a segment. I got a segment. You're going to take a piss? You're going to take a piss? Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. Right, you know why? No, no, hey, no, 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 don't talk to me. Don't talk to me right now, bro. Don't you dare talk to me right now. Hold on. They said I got to finally take a piss. And hold on, damn. He's sneaky. Stop watching. He's sneaky, he's sneaky, he's going to take his shit. All right, we got it, we got it. Yo. This wow, takes man. the fastest pisses ever. Word. I don't think he pisses, bro. I don't think he cleans his hands. <laughs> He's gonna do a little bump. I don't think he does shit. But he knows we're doing it now, so he might take a little longer. <laughs> he don't. I don't know what he does. <laughs> he does not piss. He goes in it. He opens the door. and comes out the door. He's a time traveler. <laughs> uh, well, nah, he, hold on, nah, I'm you, I wanted to do this. I've been waiting to do this. <laughs> He's gonna take a while, right? Motherfucker, man. God damn it. I need right, to get, I need to be on that fatherhood podcast. Oh, man. you gonna be on it? I need to. Alright, yeah. that's it. Say no more. Oh, uh, And whole vein too. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. How many kids you got? Two. You? Three. Almost, Jesus almost ten and seven. I can't I got two right now. Two girls? And I, no no, I got a boy and a girl. Boy and a girl, oh, okay. My second one's a boy. And how, what's what you got? I got a two boys and a girl. How's three going for you? It's crazy because I got twins. How old? And my and, um, 11, about to be 12, and my son is autistic, so that shit is like a battle. Wow. My oldest is 16, and he in teenage life, so fucking bitches and doing what he doing, so that shit is a battle. <laughs> so it's like trying to figure out what's happening. Same, same mom for all of them? For, uh, for the two? We got a fight outside? Diego, go beat him up, bro. <laughs> Probably on the phone. Where, where, where are your gloves though? That sound like slime. I said that voice sound man familiar. Bro, you took too long, man. Look, I washed my hands. But good, good looking at. We had a fatherhood podcast uh, plug. Yeah, let's okay. do it. I'm down. No problem. Mm-hmm. But you, nah. Listen, you see this time? I'm in 42. He used the minute. No, no, no. That's post. too long. Yes, it is. It's true. Um, half of 42 is usually what he takes. <laughs> I promise you, I promise you that it's, it, he's a superhero. He goes in the bathroom, or he's <laughs> lying. <laughs> <laughs> he opens, yo, I'm he goes, he goes, he asks a question. I go, so, and he's coming right out again. I'm like, what the fuck, yo? No, I used to be, um, bro, I'll tell you later. But oh, go ahead. I, I love to wash my hands. Tony Montana. I love to wash my hands. I'm gonna reset and see how long it takes him to take a piss. I was a, I was a <laughs> washer handler. You know what I mean? I'm a washer handler. Sometimes you just gotta wash your hands, bro. To be real. Wash your hands? Nah, sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta wash your hands. Nah, 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 sometimes you just gotta wash your hands